Hey, check one. There we go. How's everyone doing? I miss Jacques? I miss Jacques too. I'm sorry for the lack of Jacques. Um, but, you know, didn't have a whole lot of choice in the matter when uh, Stream Elements decided to just stop working altogether. I still have a lot of um, stuff I want to do for the stream as far as getting um, the, what do you call it? the graphics looking a little bit nicer like i don't like the font underneath i think it look, looked a lot better before so i'm gonna be fixing that all up probably tomorrow uh tomorrow's gonna be a day for me to work on a lot of video stuff i'm gonna be doing I'm putting out a short tomorrow we'll be putting out a new um what do you call it new uh dragon quest monster short and uh, you know a lot of work on the dragon quest monsters video and then i don't think i have another vod out tomorrow i think it's the day after yeah i think it's wednesday i have a vod out so I hope you're all doing fantastic. Today is the last day of middleweight for the DXBL season three. Pretty exciting. They discovered Jacques was smuggling maple syrup across the border. Zuta lor. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look real quick. This is nothing. Don't worry about it. That's my YouTube details. I'm just making sure YouTube knows what's going on. I need. Where is it? I have way too many sources. There we go. Middleweight. Final middleweight division. Here we go. Anyway, you can add my guy before the tourney starts. I completely forgot I'm kicking myself for it. Yeah, okay. I have to check him, though. So you're not going to be a, a big cheater, man. Because we all know if there's anything about J. <laughs> Original bet. Original gangster. All right. Uh... Yeah, I can add you in. Anyway, let's t take a look at the, the rules while I'm doing this, while I'm uh, saving JP's ass real quick. I should just say no so I get more points and I get basically a guaranteed shot at um, the finals. I guess I'm, I'm just a nicer guy than most, though. Also, uh, only one person today forgot to fill out the form correctly, and that was Daff. And, uh, hate when that happens. Okay, so we're going to get going. We got exactly 50 players because of JP. I hope we get done in time. Um, I'm quite tired. I did boxing today. Here comes the money. Hey, JP Mockman, 100 bits. You can't even read what it says. It's this fucking font. <laughs> Thank you for 100 bitties. New bracket. Everything's different. Everything's changed. Not really. Well, sort of. A little bit. Oh, cool. We got a hype train. It's, it's super fantastic that that's that loud, Twitch. I'm glad. Can't do anything about that. Um. Okay. So, yeah, there is a new bracket now. Not a whole lot has changed, but... Uh, a couple of matches changed. Like who got buys changed, basically. All right, we're gonna get right into it. We're chain We're starting super late, so um, yeah, let's just let's just do the thing. I'm not even recording this. We're just gonna. This is gonna be another straight up upload to YouTube. I'll just edit out the 15 minutes of pre-roll while I was getting stuff ready, and the breaks and stuff like that. So, uh, okay. First up, we got A and E and Mateo. Oh, that's going to be a fun one. I guess it helps to have Monster Rancher up. You guys been playing uh, Pal World? I'm probably not going to play it on stream anymore. Um, it is quite a slow stream game. It's one of those things where I would have needed, like, I think a community dedicated to that kind of game beforehand. And uh, it's just, it's not really... I don't think it makes for a good viewing experience. You haven't? Trying to figure out how breeding works? You can just Google it. They have it all figured out. It's all data mined. Watching a large amount of Power World. You know why? I do know why. I've been playing a shit ton of Tekken 8. Tekken 8 looks great. Oh, uh, wait. Is I think Big Beat is my only competitive monster not on file one. Shit's a grind. Yeah. Dude, today I had uh, a group of monsters come in and burn down my entire fucking base. 
So I had to rebuild the whole thing. And now it's made out of rocks. So can't burn it down anymore. But uh, did, uh, it did take quite, quite an amount of time. All right. So Annie and Mateo. I'm watching streams of it, just highlights. Yeah, so I'm going to be having a, a pretty quick highlight video of my first two streams of it because eight, nine hours of it is just, there's not a lot. There's not a lot going on in nine hours. Uh, it'll probably be closer to like 25 minutes. I had the game send level 40 Relaxosaurus hard at me at level 23. That's the same thing that happened to me. I had, uh, it was, a uh, they were like level 35 and I was level 22. And they just burned everything down. I was like, oh, that's fun. That was great. Um, Mateo was the other one. And the game is like just addicting enough that like today I was planning on doing some other stuff, but a combination of that happening and being like, oh man, I gotta rebuild everything. And also uh, being just brain tired from boxing, I was quite uh, quite not in the mood to do literally anything else. Okay, playing a lot of Power World, it's pretty good. Got raided by a bunch of 31s at 27 and instantly KO'd my whole base and burned it down. Hell yeah, that happened to me too. Let's go. Oh my god, we got the foolery into the triple knocks. Mateo does not want to do anything. <laughs> just sitting on Meteor like, hmm. He does have a pretty solid guts lead right now. Another energy shot wouldn't honestly be too bad. Triple stings to finish him off, though. Oh my god. Mateo. Mateo making big plays. Game number two. The meteor, or the... the energy shot miss. The thing is, a &E is not a tank, right? It's okay to not use meteor in this matchup. Oh shit, spike by getting take it, though. A bit of a delay, just enough to get spoilers by in chat. To be fair, uh, what uh, Torval is saying does not spoil what happens in the match. They're just preemptively complaining. <laughs> but of course, you know, you're going to see that. Energy shot, not the worst option for Mateo to swing. No, not at all. Angry energy shot, a pretty good play. He decides not to go for it, goes for punch instead. Quite, quite honestly, the worst play. But I've been playing Power World, but all my friends play on different platforms. Can you only play it on Steam? Is it on like Xbox or something as well? All right, so that was a two-one. A and E wins. Mementos and Doppelkrutz. Have I told you guys my memento story? I think I have. When I started dating T T Tiana, um, we had been dating for I don't know a couple of months, enough that it was like serious, and. Her sister was dating this guy, and she had to, her sister had to leave. My sister-in-law had to go leave. I don't know what she was doing, um, but it was just me and Tiana and um, uh, Tiana's sister's boyfriend at the time, and he was just like trying to break the ice, I guess. I don't know what his deal was, but like we were like, you know, conversational and it was fine. Uh, but I think he was like feeling like awkward or whatever and he's like I gotta break out the big guns And he's like have you guys ever seen memento and I'm like the movie like yeah when it like came out and Then he's like, okay, so you know how in memento like this happens and then this happens and I'm like, yeah Okay, and then this happens and then this happens and I'm like thinking he's gonna get to a point like he's gonna be like Oh man, it reminds me of like this thing that happened or whatever, but he just step by step goes through the plot of the movie <laughs> and then this happened and then you remember how this happened and then this happened and i'm just like jesus christ dude like i don't care like it's a fuck wasn't that good of a movie <laughs> doppelkrude's gonna take it but that that was like 11 years ago and that shit sticks in my brain i'm never gonna forget that i kept thinking he was going somewhere with it also holy Going to game three. It was a good like 15, 20 minutes though, and at a certain point we were just like, okay, like, you need to stop. Angry Death Slash, 38%. That would have done like 70 withering. Oh, the big straight. T 
Tifo putting in a lot of work in this matchup. Death Punch gonna miss again. Memento's in a little bit of trouble. Ooh, Curry does double his crit chance. Thunderbolt dodging, or uh, Doppel dodging every single attack there. Wins that one 2 1. Avocado and Smorbit up next. You didn't know how to make a stat statement with the facts at hand. I know. I, I really thought he was going to be like, hey, do you remember how this happened? Like, uh, the way a normal conversation would happen where someone's like, hey, do you remember that bit in Memento where this happened? Well, funny story. That ha like, and then, like, you know, you make up something that goes along with it. Like, you use it as an entry point to another story. <laughs> but I he, he was never taught that you have to lead away from the initial premise for it to be interesting. Hey, Krista, how are you doing? Did you rate? Oh, you rated earlier. I wasn't on. Uh, I wasn't on stream. Thank you so much for the raid. I was downstairs making my tea. Very kind of you for the raid. Hope your stream went fantastic. Thank you for the kind words. All right. Ooh, drill attack, big damage, big damage. Gas is gonna hit. Also, I also missed uh, Freeman and Zephyr. Thank you guys for the resubs. I said thank you to JP already. You, you guys are great too. Big fans. In the fact that I'm a big fan of you. I mean, Perfect Stream is a thing. First time live on two platforms, TikTok and Twitch. Oh yeah, how'd that go? That's pretty cool. I still, I have a TikTok account. I got one video on it. And I think it's a pretty funny video, but it's not, uh, you know, it's not something I've been like making stuff for. Anyway, Smartbit's gonna take that. Shmorbit with the 2-0. Uh, bruised Bones and Kruger. Who's Bruised Bones? Okay, I'm I'm going to be honest. I didn't. That's uh, yeah, it's monster. Yeah, you gotta start uploading your monster, my man. Jay, I'm not Jay, you know? Jay goes out of his way to let everyone know like 12 hours in advance that they were dumb and didn't get their shit uploaded. I'm not like that. In the sense that I am significantly more lazy than him. So we'll come back to that. Hopefully, you know, you get your stuff ready in time. But if it's holding up bracket, you get a disqualification. Purgatory and Goldman up next. Goldman! You're out. Hey, have a good one. TikTok has opened up live stream for game creators. It'd be an online application that's pretty painless and if approved by past official follower requirement. That's pretty cool. Goodbye, friends. Dude, I love... House of the Dead 2 is like one of my favorite games of all time. I have the the Wii port of it where you play with the, the nunchuck and the... Uh, in the Wiimote, and it's so much fun. I probably have, like, 2,000 hours in that game. All right. Here we go. Goldman, the Brow Smash. I was gonna get blowed, though. At least Carter's fully aware of what he's doing with Goldman. I mean, he made a golem. Not that much. I'm definitely a huge fan. It's so good. It's the funniest voice acting. There's a lot of games with bad voice acting, but it's got me my favorite voice acting. Damn, he's tanking that shit. He's angry. A brow smash at 45%, super good chance, but misses. Software like G dude. Dude, the the first time I heard that, I I had played the game when I was like really young. In the arcade. Also Brow Smash for the win. Um but I got that port when it came out, which was, I don't know, 2007? Something like that, 2007, 2008, a year or two after the Switch came out. And hearing the like pitch shifted suffer like G did, 
it's so funny. It's so bad. Wait, I it's only the one G. No, the the gold it's um it's not Goldman, it's the little what do you call it? The little demon guy with who like flies around the suit of armor. Unless you're talking about uh something different. Had a Dreamcast as a kid? Do have the Windows version somewhere now? Hell yeah. What a good game. Uh, I holy shit. Damn. Alright. Dagonic cannot miss. That's like his thing. I've wanted to make Thank you for rescuing me. Uh, a sound clip for like a really long time, but like there's no What the fuck, dude? It's... There's there's no like time for that to come up in chat though, I don't think that. Thank you for rescuing me. Hood classic and Daytona. Came in at a good time? You did. Oh no, I need your help. Burying his body. Oh, oh the time power. noise. Alright. Well, we already saw this matchup once in the hair one. The Dreamcast also have typing of the dead. It did, yeah. Stayed up all night with that. What a fun game. All right, well. It's truly a hood classic. Whose monster is this? Saiyaz. The old 38% slash combo almost never missing. That's what Dive Press reminds me of. It does more damage somehow. Does it? Yeah, it does. 65? Yeah. Anyway, Turn Assault. Turn Assault's a pretty good move. GG's. <laughs> uh, big Beat and F equals MA. I, I can just search for my monster. Is Big Beat on this one? I could, yeah. Big Beat's only on my file too. Talking about Typing the Dead? We're just talking about uh, uh, House of the Dead 2 in general. But yes, yeah, also Typing of the Dead. Okay. Here we go. Oh, he's got no slot one, eh? Rolling Slash. Do good damage in this matchup. Hammerfall? Jeez. Jeez! It's with the low kick. It's not enough, though. Cutting two. How much damage are you looking at? That's a little bit of damage. Ran in the Rush Slash. It's not enough, though. Another Hammerfall. Big Beat. Gonna take that one. Magician from House of the Dead is such a sick design. He's just like a skinless man. <laughs> he's like, what if Spooky Man was purple? The rolling slash will it be enough? Ooh, even with the guts lead, barely enough. You know if Hood Classic is the band guts right or not? It's uh Yeah, it is. Has worms pulsating? I don't remember much about it to be honest. Okay, well Hammerfall seems to be the move of the match. GG's impersoner. Uh, Thunder Snow and Deo. We, are we gonna get another Daytona versus Deo? How's everyone tonight? I'm doing okay. I spent uh, all day just being kind of. Oops. Just kind of like with my brain as mush. Dude, I keep clicking the wrong one because of boxing this morning, and then, you know, I was just, I gotta veg out and do something. I can't, like, focus on anything, and that meant that I played Power World all day. The Mighty Dale? It is the Mighty Dale. Dale! I told you guys the... The story of the guy who did the the theme song for the the new DMC, like the vocalist, and how um, 
like the first video he did that ever got any traction was a stupid fucking banana boat a smash 4 parody with oh my god the double bomb with Bayo instead of Deo that I wrote the lyrics for <laughs> he went on to do great things all right well that was certainly something you just finished up a lego set what was it of Psychonaut and also Odorous. And well, if you guys like Ape, you get to see a little bit more Ape right now. Also, how'd you get here? Fun game, though. It's a great game. We're, uh, we're just rolling through a bunch of these because we have so many matches to get through. But we will be doing betting with channel points at the end of the stream on the top 16. So hang out for that. All right. Two Intelligence Apes, too. Not even just Ape. Bunch of potted plants had a bunch of carnivorous plants and succulents. Oh, I've seen that set. It looks sick. Threw two snots and wiped off the remnants with a slap. He did. Gnarly. Oh, he tried the same thing, but it missed. Psychonauts got the speed. Okay, well, that was quick. I have to remember what happened in, like, every match because I haven't been updating bracket. And give me a second while this happens. All right, well, that was quick. I got three of them inputted. I didn't get to commentate on the match, but... <laughs> All right, who's next? We got um, Rosa and Original Bet. He's not able to freeze your monster. Are you able to do it, or are you, like, busy and not able to do it tonight? Because we're just holding the match for you, for now. If you're not able to, it's fine. Like, you know, it happens. You just did now? Okay, no problem. It didn't hold up bracket at all. We'll just do that next. What is the stat spread? Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's pretty interesting. But uh, maybe not the monster you want to be rolling into with that. All right. Game one goes to Rosa. Game two. Let me let me update a little bit. Don't finish it off immediately. Bike can take off half his health, though. All right. He dodges one. Gives me time to get a second bracket in here. He's got the grit. Original bet. Doing his best. But the two lashes is still 71%, even with, like, nearly max speed. Good classic on that one, 2-0. All right. The worm is like, worm's a very good anti-speed monster. Uh, let's go, oh, bub and Kokoro. Oh my God. Megan Brock Proud taking duck to Suplex City. Suplex City having elections. Rose is up for mayor. Kokoro is the other monster. Killing time with my inane chatter while I try to remember the name of the monster I'm supposed to be entering. Had to redo bracket for that. Yeah, I know. Princess Nob, thank you for the follow. Ooh, the claw combo into the drill claw. It's enough. Berserker Barrage. Game two. A lot of two O's today. It's got power. Oh, the foolery. Yeah, you're you're smoked. That was rough. So sad they didn't they don't do the funny spider legs walk in line i know it'd be great if they did it in um what do you call it it'd be great if they did it in battle as well
Okay. Uh, no, that was that was three games. So they're maggoty with how they walk. I know. They do a little belly belly crawl. First match was so quick, I totally missed it. Yeah, that was three games. Um. Okay, we're gonna go back up to the top. Bruce Bones and Kruger up next. Foolery during your pounds. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> you still haven't uploaded it. <laughs> now nah, you're holding that bracket. Get that shit done. <laughs> that was cool. Get your, get your monster up. Uh, let's go above and Kokoro just happened. Ooh, F O and Vespinato. Another Selketo. And ooh, a foe we've seen. Froze up but didn't upload maybe one step at a time. That's what I'm thinking. It happens. Ooh, the violent shell. The big damage. Wop wop. No, the big ol' miss. A punch! You want the crab punch? Numbing Stab is going to miss. Electric Whip as well. He's got to hurry. He doesn't really need hurry. One second left. Does he do anything? He forgets he's supposed to be doing something. So he does nothing. Space Nighton has no right to be so cute. Yeah, someone let Princess know that I said that. That's my favorite monster in the game. It's that specific Nighton. Ooh, the spike shell, big damage. And also, just so you, you folks know, that's not me being uh, passive aggressive. Princesses, hard of hearing, and I don't have closed captioning on my stream, so <laughs> I'm not like, oh, let them know. <laughs> not... I can see how he would sound like that if I was, you know. If uh, if you were maybe not familiar, but uh, head of duck and throw Nobo. I gotta get some close captioning stuff. Just saved a minute ago. All right. Well, we can try it again before we advance. But yeah, you have to save. You have to go and upload the the file as well. Yeah. Uh, throw Nobo. A lot of apes. Slicketo, for some reason, is a special breed in Monster Rancher Advance 2. What's really... It's really funny to me that in Monster Rancher Advance 1, there is a Selketo in the Major 4. And I... Like, as a kid, you know, I've already told the story a million times about how I didn't have access to Monster Rancher 2 for quite a few years after I had first played it. Um, and I'd only played, like, the other Monster Rancher games in the meantime, waiting to, like, get another copy of 2. And... What's his name? His name's Anguish? I'm pretty sure it's Anguish. And I remember getting Brigandy and Anguish confused all the time. Also, yeah, uh, that was rough. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Epic XD and Spiked Punch. This is a Centaur. This is an illegal Centaur. I gotta stop telling stories because every time you do, these heavy techs keep hitting. You know, it gives you something to listen to while you watch the monsters explode. Okay. That's an interesting build. Mixed defenses. I have a feeling Death Thrust is going to be very difficult to deal with, though. Or Meteor Drive, even. 90% Meteor Drive? That's. That's gonna be rough. T Bolt? Okay, he's got some damage, but. He's a power mod. 
Hits the flying mask, there's some damage. The triple stab's gonna come out, spiked punch. You know, doing his best, survived the... The one hit KO. Came back. Ooh, another meteor drive though. Haha, -ha, epic XD is gonna take it. Cool runnings and spike strip. This is a night for the low percent hits. It was a 90% hit, just so you guys know. I don't know if you were paying attention. Uh, he had 90% chance to hit that move. I'm just writing punch. Why am I writing punch? <laughs> Horse is kind of good, yeah. Horse has like three or four different builds in middleweight, which is really funny. A ton of scary names in this one, yeah. It's not illegal. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's not illegal. I should have banned Sniper. The thing about Sniper is that not enough people run him for people to realize how messed up he is, but he's like right on the like cusp of being bannable as well. Also, that knock was like off axis from the beginning. There's absolutely no way that was going to land. Jesus, Mancho. Okay, um, this is 2 0, right? Cavity and Threadripper. It's 1 1? Okay. Mancho is telling me a match happened in his uh, tournament the other day where. Just one game happened, and he asked for a uh, for a count, and every single person said it was 2-0. And so he was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> so the monster lost once and got eliminated. 2-0 <laughs> in a single game. Alright, game three, here we go. Spike stabs. Hey, spike strip takes it. Look at that. Single hit is all it takes. Cavity and Threadripper. For real this time. We have another one, by the way. Beat him. Not your finest TL moaning. Not your... I'm not even going to try that again. It, you know, it's, it's happened to everybody, though. It's definitely happened to me. That's why I'm okay with uh, chat yelling at my ass. Be like, no, you're wrong. Not oh, my finest teal moaning, yeah. Alright, so this is some top tier shit. And this is some Tecmo Cup. But uh, Ripper is gonna be Ripper. Bully Grit? He won't. Game number two. Just glad it happened on Thursday instead of one of your Saturday attorneys, yeah. Really wants to do that tail, eh? Okay, charge the absolute worst play here. No way. Well, the turn assault miss and he still has the guts lead. That is crazy. The drill attack misses as well. Swing it again. Who cares? Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging. Going in a game three. Ripper's gonna look interesting in line. The queen plant is pretty interesting. It's like very true to its Monster Rancher 2 model, except uh, its mouth is underneath its eyes instead of on top, so it's less terrifying. All right, our last match of round one we got Tornillos and Halberd. Oh, we got a Wild Saurian, or do we have Zebra Saurian? Wild Saurian is pretty sick. You can get real on him. Boy be wild? Hell yeah. This is Project Dallas, right? Yeah. 
Okay. I'm a big Wild Saurian fan. It was so funny. Somebody popped into one of my videos one time and was like, no one's allowed to disagree with me, but both uh, Mad Clay and Wild Saurian suck. And I was like, that's just like out of nowhere. Like no one was talking about that in the video. It's like, okay. <laughs> Into the roll of salt. <laughs> no. Holy moly. So the you like how screw sounds bet in Spanish better than nails? Yeah, so I had a, a monster named Nails that was like did extremely extremely well like many moons ago. And this is, you know, looks like a homage to that. One all, yeah. Is it the exact same build? Oh shit. That's big damage. He's angry though. <laughs> no, it's not the same build. I don't think I had bite throw. Yeah, you have the bite line, yeah. All right, 2-1 for Halberd. Pretty interesting project I'll go in with like three super tank killer attacks, or two super tank killer attacks, I should say. All right, Bruise Bones and Kruger. Third time's a charm. There we go. He did the thing. Let's go. Let's go. Of the bite chance, a ton of fun. I know. And we saw what's a dry skin do super well with just the first bite, which is a really interesting choice. Holy shit! <coughs> Game two. Here we go. All right, the dodge this time. Your turn. Going to game three. Oh, the telekinesis miss. Smash can do big damage. It's the second one. This is like the perfect time to use rear leg kick. This is the most... It, it would have been the most rear leg kick time. Alright. Well, that was a 2-1. Bruce Bone's gonna win that one 2-1 with the two crit eye beams and nothing else. Granola and a &E up next. You're gone, Granola. It's a Bagman's, right? Yeah. And a and &E of Green Gables. I beam's a pretty rough move to deal with most of the time. Good ass tech. Spiral rush. All right, three second KO. Game two. Holy moly. It's flat, though. They both got 50 guts, and then their flattening comes out. They both swing, triple shots. On the 50 50, the miss, the spiral rush as well. Another flattening. Granola's still in it. They can both swing. He's got unity. And he can get smoked. All right. Many, many flattenings. One all going into game three. The spike stabs. He's angry. Into the giant whip. 44%. Not super unlikely. 44% chance to instantly win is a very good roll. I would take that like every time. Doppelkrutz and Smorbit. Doppel K. He does kind of look like a s'more. That's a good name. You got the chocolate, you got the graham cracker, and you got the marshmallow. The good ass name. Oh, he did nothing. He waited. He's like, I'm not winning this way. I'm going to win 
the honorable way. AKA, I'm gonna lose. You know, first game is data. Game two, here we go. So anyway, I started blasting it. Oh, the Kung Fu kick? It's like, that's, yeah, beat you on my terms. Well, the straight miss at 69, not very nice. A little bit of damage there, just enough withering. Smartbit's in a lot of trouble here. But he hits it straight. Oh, Balbacruz forgot that he had to finish off his opponent. We're going to game three. Big Obanga. He's dead. He's super dead. Smartbit's going to take it. Look at that. He won on his own terms. He didn't let the foolery phase him. El Snail Erico and Bruce Bones up next. Bruined. All right, so our I beam's gonna help Bruce Bones again, or is he gonna get? Well, I guess nobody's gonna get uh, frame one violent shell because they start out of frame. Into the TK, a little bit of damage. Not the best move to use in this matchup. Ooh, numbing whip. A single numbing whip gonna take it. 19 guts to win. Pretty rough. You arrived late. It's okay. <laughs> you're allowed to arrive whenever you're able to. That violent shell is gonna take it. El Snail Erico is gonna move on. You did uh, miss your your guy's first fight though. So if you want to rewind the vod back, you can take a look at that. Okay, El Snail Erico with the two oh. What the dog doing in gold, man? What the dog doing? He's protecting the life cycle. How to go? Uh, <laughs> bad dad missed the ball game, I know. Showed up late, son. Um, he got smoked by uh, Meteor Drive. It was, it was kind of rough. Gold man. But that's okay. You're still in the tournament. All righty. Roll Assault, like the worst possible mat uh, move to use in this matchup. Dude, he cannot miss that. That is the third KO in three rounds he's hit that. These Hooker and Coke meetings aren't going to attend themselves, Junior. That's true, they won't. I don't know if it's a justifiable excuse, but you're right that they won't. 1-2, much better play. And the stab, that should finish him off. Yeah, big crit. Taking it. Game three, here we go. What the dog doing? He's uh, wasting guts on roll assault. That's what he'd been doing. And another brow smash, it misses. It's a whole new world. All right, never mind. Truly unbelievable sights. What the dog doing survives that. We're hanging in there. How many bites? He needs two more. Uno. Oh, maybe just one more. He, he got it. He did the thing. He won. He hit many bites in a row, and that's what it took. He's got what it takes. Bad luck duck and dag on it. I love bad luck duck. I should make a Goldman uh, sound clip. I need uh, I need something that would, like will work though. You know, I was talking about how the I want to thank you for rescuing me sound clip, but. When <laughs> that would have been good for like, um, was it like DQM? Every time I like caught a monster, thank you for rescuing me. All right, is he just gonna cyclone his way to victory again? Uh, maybe, but not quite yet. All right, well, he's in the lead, not dead. Bad luck, duck's got power. 
power. Oh, he's got foolery. The truly bad luck. 1% chance. But he hits the bound. So, okay. There, there was a lot of bad luck there. But it wasn't enough to keep a good duck down. All right. He really wants the explosion. The, the Phil Esposito, as it were. Hey, all right, third time's the charm. There we go. He blew him up. Giga Soy Wojak and Hood Classic. Holy shit. <laughs> it's just ghost. Oh my god. Okay. What a name. <laughs> Hell yeah. I love how stoic this face is here. Like, it's not like the biggest fucking cheater in the game. Power Ghost is always pretty funny. It's the Tarn Assault. First time didn't work. Hey, Lily, how are you doing? How have you been? Oh, the stab! He's still alive, though. Ah, still alive. I just realized his tongue is blue or green, gray. I don't know. You don't see a lot of time noise, and that's because it's not a legal monster most of the time. Bad luck duck won that one, and then Hood Classic does the Naga thing. Cloaca and Big Beat. So is this a different Cloaca? Did he just remake it, or did he enter a welterweight? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, to be fair, I could not hit him. It's possible I don't hit him. But this is, um... So much quick. It's the same monster as last time. It's it's not. Why are there two of them? I know that's the crazy part. And they're both plant subbreeds. The other one is a galley, but it's not a competitive monster. <sighs> All right, this is what got entered. All right. I could get withered down. It's possible I don't win this. Heavy chop miss. He is winning. It's the bite throw. Doing a lot of withering. It's very possible I never hit. It is, yeah. But thankfully, I got my one hit in. Bracket collusion? Dude, I was thinking that. when As soon as I saw him, I'm like, I hope people don't think I'm cheating. But I couldn't be because JP entered his fucking guy last and it screwed up the whole bracket. So you can, uh... You can blame JP for this happening. Well, that was not really a win. I don't know. You know what that is? That's good karma for me letting JP enter the tournament. What about getting more points for entering him on? That's in a lower weight class. <laughs> I shank a lot and thunder snow. The thing is, you could probably make some stuff work, right? Like, you can make some... Middleweight's work in heavyweight. Well, good news for Spider in the one and only division. <laughs> if he won, would he get a point? I would absolutely, I would have given him a point if he won that one. Did me and JP plan this? Oh my god. You know, I feel like you don't know JP well enough if you think anything he does is premeditated. 
If anything has more than like a 30 minute run up in like execution time. You can easily make a 50-50 build with no speed or life and just pray you swing first. Yeah. Like it, it wouldn't be consistent. But uh, you could make plays with that. JP makes good mocks. That's a good point. I mean, but when it takes him 21 years to make the mock, it's proof that there wasn't a lot of foresight in that. He's spontaneous as heck. Yes. All right. I shank a lot going to win that too all. Middleweight speedster can dodge just as well and hit just as hard as a heavyweight speedster. Absolutely not true. Not true at all. A middleweight speedster cannot dodge and hit just as hard unless they put zero points into life. <laughs> Almost nobody in middleweight runs one life. That's more of a, a welterweight thing. Most of the mods that run speed in welterweight have like 700... 650 type power. Slimiest Max and Psychonaut. Middleweight, I know. I, I'm aware. I'm saying you're wrong. <laughs> Nobody who's running max speed in uh, middleweight is running full offense as well. It's just, it doesn't work that way. Too many mons are running 999 skill to run one life. It just, it's rough. Okay. So this is like closer to what you're going to see. And like the 800 skill against mons with like max speed hurts a little bit. This is Dagon Erasure. That's true, but uh, so is your last match. So... We already saw that proven wrong exactly once. Yeah, you're right. It was proven wrong exactly once. Good point. The fantastic data set. You're you're making a you're absolutely making the point you think you are and not the exact opposite. <laughs> hey, the thing that never happens, it happened one time out of the thousand of tournaments we've run, so you're wrong. Math is hard. He's made top eight twice. Ain't hurting. <laughs> Ain't hurting for points. That's true. So you're saying there's a chance? Yeah. All right. Psychonaut wins. That was just game one, right? I'm trying to remember who won between Lily and Alfric. It's 1-1, one, one, right? Okay. Exclamation mark one. Oh my god. Damn. Slimiest Max is going to take it. Okay, so who won between <laughs> Let's Go and Kokoro? I, got, I forgot to write it down, and I don't know. I think it was Alfric. I don't like the sound of that. Thanks. I'm trying to think. Lily won game one, guaranteed. And then it was game two for Kokoro. Yeah, it was 2-0. Was it 2-0? Because I'm pretty sure Lily won game one. I could be wrong. Still somehow beat JP's Metal Nerf Friday. Not as lucky as Mochi, still surprising. Yeah, that's still clean. 2-1 Kokoro, okay, thank you. I don't know, well, um... Someone do me a favor and uh, watch that back for me, and we'll, uh... We'll wait a second. Apollyon and Head of Duck up next. Kamikaze in the first, face attacked in the second. Oh, is, did you just check it now? Oh, okay, thank you. You're all very kind to help me out. Unaga won his match 
That is the Threadripper. Yeah, yeah, that one was two one. And then the other one I don't have updated is Cool Runnings and Spike Strip. And Spike Strip won that one two one. Okay, Apollyon taking it. On smash. He's angry now, though. You gotta watch out for the anger. Jesus. Locks with me. Apollyon gonna take that 2 0 pretty quick. <laughs> it's Naga. We're gonna have a lot of Nagas in top 8, I think. So, I Flames and Uwu F O O up next. It was 2-1? Okay. Alright. Big old metal dragon versus big old metal snail. In a big old metal monster rancher battle. He's angry. He can come back from this. Bite's not the play, but uh, he can technically come back from this. Not anymore. But there was a chance. Uvu F Ovo. It's, if he was an owl, that would be great. There's no owl monster though. Oh! There's Chuparo. But Chuparo's only in... Chuparo's one of my favorite designs, and he's only in my monster farm, which is like the shittiest game in the entire franchise. Alright. Ooh, FO gonna win that one. He doesn't want to trample, I know. Rosa and Kokoro up next. We got a long boy fight. There's Alden from Monster Rancher 4, that's true. Even worse than Evo? Dude, my Monster Rancher was the one of the worst games I've ever played in my life. Like, I played Monster Farm Lion for like two or three months and then got bored of it and whatever. And, you know, the game, a Monster Rancher game is going to be pretty bad for me to not want to play it. But that, that was more so, like, the game's fine. A lot of people really enjoy it, but it just was specifically not what I wanted to spend my time on. Like, it's very grindy, and I'm not a big fan of, like, hyper gotcha elements. But um, my Monster Rancher was, like, an early mobile game. Like, we're talking 2011? So... Think of like how predatory like energy systems and shit like that were in pay to win mobile gacha games back then. It was just awful. Just one of the worst. It, it's a terrible game. So that was two games, right? Who else missed bodybuilding.com forums? <laughs> I think. It was two games. How many, how many days are in a week? It's 1-1? One, one? Okay. Thank you. Um, but yeah, here's a great example of how bad um, my Monster Rancher was. Battles? It randomly chose three stats. And then whoever had the highest of two of those three stats was the winner. That's how battles work. That's how Mafia works. Also, Rosa is in trouble here, yeah. There's literally... So you couldn't, like, go super hard on, like, skill, power, life. Because that basically gives you a 50% chance to win. You needed to, like, raise more stats. It was awful. And um, you could only do so much raising per day, and then you ran out of energy, and then you couldn't do any more. So you could raise like half of a monster in like a 12 hour period. Can it still be played? No. I would love to do a, a video on it. Like I, I genuinely would like to do a video on it. Um, 
Because it's like lost media at this point, right? But I don't know how to uh, get access to it. So RNG, the purest form of Monster Rancher? Yeah. Ironically, it's kind of it kind of feels like how uh, DQM works. But it had so many new monsters in it. And it has one of my favorite monsters who's named Chuparo, who's a little it's a little bird. He's a little chickadee bird. And he's super, super cute. Bad in the MMO or Lost Media? Yeah. MMO has a lot of screenshots. My Monster Rancher has a lot of screenshots of the monster specifically, but not of like the gameplay. It might be a funny idea for a tournament. Just blind pick and then, oh, we roll three numbers and whoever has the higher numbers wins. <laughs> My Monster Rancher had Biata. Biata sucks. Biata is awful. It has Chuparo though, and Chuparo is great. It also has Lamour, who is a candy cot a cotton candy sheep. So, you know, two out of three is not bad. Especially because you could mix Lamour with Golem and have like a big, like beefy cotton candy man. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You're keeping that in the memory, Nanak. <laughs> that was, uh, dude, that was 2 1. It's 1 1. Was it? He hit Meteor Drive. Did he grit and then come back? Is that how it works? Because I know he hit Meteor Drive and then he died and then another Meteor Drive came out. Did he grit the first meteor drive? Okay. Found a YouTube video for it? I remember playing it and the first monster I got was a Duckin and I was like, hell yeah, I love Duckin. And I had so much trouble raising his stats. And so I like went super hard into speed and then just couldn't beat anybody because it never rolled speed in the best two out of three. And I was like, fuck, what the hell is this? This is stupid. Um, and then my second monster, I forget what, I think I had a Mew. I wanted a Poncho, but I could never get one. Couldn't get a Chuparo either because it's all, you know, gotcha. All right, game three. The miss. The mama miss. And he's still in it. Turn and stab? Dude, big crit, but still not enough. Yeah, this is Gala Slams to lose. Wins that one, two, one. Played in freshman year at college, spawned in Pixies, your first mon closed the game out. It's it's one of those games where it's like it would be fun to take a look back at it, but it is like legitimately a bad game. Goop and spike strip. It's not like oh maybe we're being too hard on it. It's like no, I'm not being hard enough. Goop by Zach. That's right, I had to put it in the Z. Spikest. He is the spikest. Okay. Goopy goopy. I like Mad Clay. Mad Gaboo. They changed his name back and forth. He's got no eyeballs. He got one eye, but it's in the wrong spot. And it's a big triangle. He do be slapping. Game two. Saw a less, I got a Lesion, saw energy, and then bounced. I love Lesion. But, uh, yeah, the game was not good. That's the device. People keep asking me to do a Monster Rancher timeline video, and it's like, dude, that shit's... It's not gonna make a good video. That shit's not interesting. You know what the Monster Rancher timeline is? Monster Rancher 3 happened. 
and then 300 years passed, and then all the other games happened like back to back. <laughs> That's the entire timeline. <laughs> Spike strip. Gonna take it. Gonna be spiking. Plum and Threadripper. There isn't even a real story. There's a very, very loose narrative. Could be a good short. <laughs> I, I could uh, do the whole game in the whole series in like two minutes. Explorer also predated the other games. Um, Explorer predates the other games by like 20 years or 30 years. It's not like it's still part of the 300 year gap and then a whole bunch of other shit happened. Yeah, it's after the gap. So, so it's what I said. <laughs> Coming here with a well, actually, well, actually, you're correct. <laughs> Let me read the Monster Rancher Wiki and everything made no sense ever again. Suction cups, though, it's true. Oh, no. Yeah, Capsi. Capsi is so funny. Capsi is short for capsize. Its Japanese name is Capsation, but we don't know what that means. Red Ripper gonna get the one hit as well? Remember which game it is that had the temple from the anime where Genki comes from? Um... I mean, that's kind of like the one in one, right? A brow hit. Plum's gonna take it. He survives. Look at that. We just came across it from two different angles to the same answer. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Plum gets that one too. Oh, he's moving on. Bob just can't luck out with these mons, eh? Helmet and Halberd up next. I think he's referenced another one. I don't think Genki shows up in any games. He might, but I don't... I'm pretty sure he does not. What am I doing? Typing Project L. Albert. I feel like it's referenced another one. Sorry, I misread. Um... I mean, it could just be any of the ruins, right? Bracket luck is literal dog shit. I don't. Me and you could have traded today. We could rule the city, Spider Man. Okay. I'm just. I'm so used to Mochi losing that. I thought Halberd lost game one, but I don't actually know if he if he lost game one. Is that a 1-1 one, one or a 2-0? Oh? That's a 2-0, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mochi surge, baby. It's happening. Okay, I forgot to type in Rosa and Kokoro. Kokoro won that one. All right, we are now in our plans to top 16. We got Granola and Smorbit. And then we got to go down to loser's bracket. Mochi knew Jill. Jill's pretty good. Smorb. He's smorbin. Remember when he said it's smorbin time in that movie? Sparrow's gonna land a little bit of damage. Middleweight almost feels faster than welterweight. It absolutely is because so many fewer monsters uh, have the ability to survive to the end of the match. Welterweight uh, has the potential to be both the shortest and longest depending on just how luck feels like rolling. Welterweight is pretty consistently the quickest, I think. 
And lightweight is like similar, and heavyweight usually takes the longest. I love how much everything jiggles with the fast forward, I know. All right, 2-0. That was a 2-0, right? He got the spin kick, and then he got the dragon kick. Uh, next up, I'll snail Erico and what the dog doing? Air has the best jiggle. I hate how they changed his look after two. I know. At least he looks like hair back in uh, line. He's not as jiggly, but I like uh, hair's design in line. If everyone enters a max speed mod in Welterweight, it would be pretty long, yeah. What do we see? Electric Stab comes out, big ol' miss, the bite's gonna take it, what the dog doing? He's moving on to game two, that's what he's doing. I wish his eyes glowed like they do in the card. Cabalos is, uh... Like, just regular yellow eyes make him look like he's got jaundice, not necessarily that he's like a spooky guy. Do ban, ban monsters still get points for set ones, like 5 and 7? Yes. He loves the roll assault. He's only had to fight tanks, so that's rough for him. But, you know, he's still one win away from top 16, so... Things are working out. A double stab. Alright, if he gets hit, he's still two wins away from top 16. But he hits the bite! There's the grit, they both get grit, they both can swing. Who's swinging first? The scratch comes out. What the dog doing? He's moving on. He's going to top 16, buddies. Alright, bad luck duck and hood classic. I told you guys the dream I had where my friend got hospitalized and I went to see him. Who Simpsons yellow <laughs> and he told me it. Yes, you've told me that. <laughs> I have super jaundice. Oh no. This is a great match for explosion. It didn't kill! No way. That's a bad luck duck if I've ever seen one. But he gets the kill there. That's so funny. All right, we're going to game three. Just hope you win your next match. It would be the fated rival battle for you, would it? All right, he's going to flutter slap. Hits him with the F slap. The d <laughs> Dude, this duck. <laughs> Oh no. Alright. Nog is moving on to the top 16. No one's surprised by that though. He did get the game. Just wasn't enough games. Big beat and I shank a lot. It's probably quicker for me to just search for big beat. I always have trouble finding him in the bracket in my list for some reason, which is weird because I think he shows up at the top and I don't actually have to scroll. Bum duck though. Needed one more explosion. All right. Oh, the laser cutter. Damn, that dog is ultra dead. First dog to ever die twice. Hammerfall misses. Stab can do good damage. Both got 30 guts. Scratch comes out. Big Beat needs something here. He's getting hit with the bite. Ooh. Hard to survive three hits, especially when the first one is stab. Another one. Good crit. No anger. The punch comes out and misses. Laser cutter at 40. Ooh. This is it looking like it's it for me? Do we see a grit? We do. He's got the guts lead. He only needs to do 300 damage. 
Hammerfall at 45. It's looking nice. He's got to attack. Hits a heavy chop. Oh, the grit. Both mods can attack. The bite comes out first. The damn grit. How's that dog got grit? That's not fair. All right. 2-1 for Aishankalot. Moving on to top 16. Slimiest Max and Kokoro up next. He shanked. He did. What if old Yeller grit? <laughs> He's just walking around with the giant shotgun shell in his head. Skull split open like the fucking thing from the thing. Just ready to eat little Timmy, whatever his name was. It's on final guts, baby. All right, Kokoro hits it. Ooh. It's it again. The power. Kokoro gonna take game number two. We're going to game three. Thinking about it, old Geller's got me sad now. I don't want to shoot my dog. Kokoro gonna take it. 2 1. If old yellow countered. Oh my god. How much withering does a shotgun do? Kokoro takes that one, 2 1. Ooh, F O O and Apollyon up next. Dude, it, I'm so on top of the W, and it just is, never gives it to me. 3 0? Was it a 3 0? I could have sworn the first one was a suffocation kill, but I might just be brain sleepy. You wouldn't believe how draining boxing is. Like, uh, my problem is I'm not in shape, right? So I go and I get my ass beat for an hour and then I'm just done for the day. I'm like, I feel content and I feel like that endorphin rush you get after working out, but I am just spent. Pretty sure Melner one, giant whip kill. Okay. I thought he did suffocation and then cha with the whip and that took game one and then that whip took game two, but I don't know. Electric whip, big damage, the belly punch, the belly belly punch. Turn assault is the play, he goes for it, 999 damage, he grits though. It was the play, but now he's in trouble. Million whips, and get smoked. Okay. Is that a 2-0? I remember when the first KO happened, I'm like, okay, I'm going to remember that this monster won the first game. And then this happens. What is this? My brain is melting out my ears right now. It's 1-1, one, one, right? Okay. Violet Shell, big damage. Not enough to kill, though. He's got anger. He's going to have to do something big and give him th Furious not to play. It's the electric stab. Ooh, FO gonna take it. O2 for sure. <laughs> Neither of these monsters advances. They, they, they've both lost. Okay, ooh, FO moving on to top eight or top sixteen, top eight on winner side. Uh, Sir Gallus Slam and Spike Strip. Bracket is gonna be scary no matter what. It's a, uh, it's a lot of good mods. Winner of this might have to fight a mochi though. Needle stabs. A spike strip gonna take game number one.
game number two. Here we go. A slamming down miss again? That's rough. It's not over, but uh, he needs to dodge a lot. Dodge the knock. That's a good way to get back into it. Hits the tail attack. Good damage. Down into the green. Another knock attempt. Again, just super off axis. Where are you even aiming at, brother? Hits the wing attack. That takes it. We're going to game three. Every bracket scary with this group. Yeah. The double wing attack feels nice when it happens, but it's always like terrifying to be like, okay, I just wasted all my guts on wing attack and they're not dead yet. It dodged a lot. It did. It did the thing it was supposed to do. They're both just spinning around. Spike strip gonna take it because he spun around just a tiny bit less. He stopped that 90 degrees. Spike strip wins that one 2 1. And we got plum and helmet. <laughs> oh, what a combo of names. All right. These monsters come from the same classroom. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Here we go. Hey, right. hey Freric, thank you for the follow. Very kind of you. you. Got hit with the cyclone. Mochi still. I this mochi's unbeatable. This is the strongest monster in the game. Nothing can stop the moch. Can't stop the most. It doesn't even have properly min-maxed stats, and it's still smoking everybody. It's stuck with like over a hundred. It's stuck with three hundred intelligence, and it's still. It would love to have an extra hundred life, extra hundred power, extra hundred skill, but it doesn't care. It's like whatever. Twenty-eight percent's enough for me. Maybe not. Maybe not. Emochi is the game. He's EA Sports baby, because he's in the game. 2-1 for Plum. Helmet still needs to win one game to make top 16. All right, let's just move straight on to losers. I still got a little bit of tea left. Two mo four mons don't get buys. That's very unfortunate. Mementos and Havocado up first. This is a crazy match. One of these monsters gets dead last, tied with one other monster, and it's a <laughs> Joker and a Naga. The 300 intelligence makes it hick smarter. That's true, I've heard that. I'm him, I've been him, yeah. All right, drill attack, good opener. But this is gonna be the finisher, yeah. Hits it, I'm going to game number two. Truly bottom tier fight, truly two monsters that deserve to be in losers round one. The death punches. He's got real, real spooky, hanking that hit. 700 damage on a punch. Look at that. All right. So we have a Naga go 0 and 2 today. Good ass monster. Just didn't get the rules. Original bet and let's go, oh bub. Oh my God, it's JP. I have to fight an even stronger Naga. <laughs> that is life, yeah. Still restricted and Naga's still on losers, right? I think one of them's in winners, right? Hood Classics and winners. And then there's Bob's in losers. Okay. Very similar builds. Horn attack miss. This guy who got entered special gets dead fucking last. I swear to god. I know. I'm wasting my time. Just to go 0 2. He's in a pretty good spot right now, though. Ton of guts. And the life lead. Missed two punches in a row. It's the third one, though. Good, good crit. 
I've been thinking good, good crits about you. Game number two. All right. Let's go on to game number three. Bubsy, if he was real. Yeah, it's true. I've been hearing this. He's got no Colossus for the fastball special. It's true. He doesn't. You just gotta use that Berserker Barrage. Actually, the Berserker Barrage is probably pretty bad in this matchup. It's the Turn Claws. The Spinny Roo. But he's got that lower than normal life stat. So he gets smoked. Original bet. Gonna take that one. 2 1. Albert and Mateo up next. Oh my god, we have an Arrowhead fight. Halberd. Okay, so we got power versus intelligence and speed versus tank. So basically as different as the as different as these two monsters can be. 35% meteor, you swung it. That's it though. <laughs> it is a game winner if it lands. One in three chance. Okay, he's in energy shot range. Oh no, it goes for meteor again, and it's going to land. There's the grit though. Mateo's still in it. Oh, baby, a triple. Hits the claw assault. We're going to game three. Just like that. Claw assault. And energy shot range again. Into the roll assault. It's not enough to kill him. He's got a 60 guts lead. The triple stings. Dude, the sacred combo wasn't sacred enough. Look at that. Claw assault into roll assault is such a, such a powerful combo. And it wasn't enough. Mateo gonna win that one, 2-1. One. Moving on. Threadripper and Memento. Dude, all of these top tiers gotta fight each other like immediately, eh? This is like the hell bracket. This is what you get for entering a banned Mon Bob. <laughs> oh my god. Even in losers, there's no relief, eh? Fuck me, here we go. I like how you're like, oh, little old me, I'm so scared. <laughs> I can't beat the Naga with my almost equally broken monster. <laughs> with my monster whose only stipulation is a thing that makes him stronger in this specific matchup. <laughs> it's a ripper, yeah. And, and you got a monster that has like, what? It, what's it cost, 30? For like a billion force and 35 withering? You've got what is basically better turn assaults in slot two. Let me be scared. You both should be scared. I'm just glad I don't have to fight either of you. Memento takes game one. There's the death slash, big damage, big withering. Procs the anger though. Angry stab, a little bit of damage. Decent amount of withering on it, but not a ton. What's he gonna do? Get it punched again? Dying with 60 guts, man. That's rough. They're in my bracket? No, no, they gotta beat Mateo first. That's not gonna happen. Goop and Kruger up next. I think Joker's actually favorite. Let's not go fucking crazy. <laughs> but it's like, it's it's pretty close. It's really just about who procs a grit on the other person. Death Slash is obscene against tanks. I was unaware. Um, do you know how fast Ripper's guts rate is though? And when you proc anger on him, how he just like wins for free 99% of the time? This is, uh, one of my friends was talking to me about this yesterday where, um, and you're not really doing this here, Zephyr, so this isn't about you. 
But there was a time, and one of my friends brought this up. I didn't bring it up. They were like, dude, I think the funniest thing that's ever happened with you, like, gaining any sort of notoriety on stream was a guy arguing with you uh, that you were wrong and the proof he used that you were wrong was something you said in one of your videos. And he was like, the guy was basically like, nah, uh you don't know what you're talking about. Watch this video. <laughs> this guy proves you wrong. <laughs> and then the timestamp was something I said that he, like, took completely out of context. <laughs> and so I think it's funny how I can... I, I just sit there and I'm like, you know, Joker's got a pretty good matchup here. Like, it's, both of you have reason to be scared of each other. And then... Zephyr's trying to explain to me that Death Slash is very strong. Like, I didn't just say that in stream. Of course, I know him. He's meme. Alright. Uh, that's one all, or is that a 2-0? I think it's one all. I'm just gonna play this, and you guys can yell at me. It's one all. Ooh. Big damage. A stab throw? Kruger's gonna take it. Look at that. I was Nash explaining, yeah. It's, I know, he was. Don't Nash explain to me. Haha, -ha, epic and purgatory. That's how I feel every time I have to say haha, -ha, epic. Put him up, put him gently back down. It's so funny, it's like he it gets stuck, he's like, ew, ugh. And he just like smacks him. Purgatory. All right. Here we go. More centaur action. Everybody's favorite. Hits him. Purgatory lives it though. 60 guts lead. We can do so much damage, but not enough. Still has the guts lead and much better chance to hit. And the head assault comes out. Purgatory. Gonna take it. Game number two. Ooh, the meteor drive miss. Head assault. Ooh, rushing punch. Big damage. That miss. The leaping kick lands. Good damage. Fuck. Wait. That was it. That was it. That was a 2 all right? Because he hit the head assault. And then that one, yeah. Okay. Uh, Head of Duck and Titanic up next. to see Titanic much. He got smoked in two attacks. Alright, he's not having a good night. This is a rough night for Titanic. Maybe the roughest night Titan uh, a Titanic has ever had. Oh, hits the Earthquake? Alright, you know what? He's back in it. Oh, he misses. And the wave riding. A big ol' smoosh. Titanic is gonna take it. It was looking real rough. He's been in five matches now, and none of them have lasted more than a single attack. That's wild. Titanic wins that one. 2-1. Okay. Um, I Flames and Daytona up next. It uh, helps if I spell it right. There's many A's. And make sure I get the right one. Both of these are monsters in this tournament. All right, here we go. Big 
Damn, the bite. Trample? He goes for a big smoosh, but he doesn't get it. The rolling blow gonna take it. High flames with the grit. Goes for another trample. He just has to swing whatever he can as quickly as he can because he's gonna die if he gets hit, and then he gets hit. GG's. All right. Game number two. One, two, punch. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. Pow, pow. Just realized I might have to fight Nash. Last time I fought a hanger, laser cutter me into oblivion. We'll see. You do have the better matchup, but uh Can you beat Mateo first? That's the thing. The 99 missed to work out ease, it's pretty funny. And the trample comes out! The 99 miss to lose the set even? Get eliminated? 1%. It happens. Rosa and Horse. I, I said force. That's what this is. And then I started typing in force because my brain doesn't work. All right. Here we go. As long as you don't get smooshed, do you think you can win it? Meteor is so spooky. It's just, will he use it? That's the thing. The rush slash, it's not enough. Oh, the rolling slash comes out. Is that the only Durahan we have tonight? I think so, right? No, your monster can win matches. It's a good build. Like, there's nothing wrong with the build at all. It's just the build I had is also like a top tier build, right? So. Oh shit, the triple rush slash? That was wild. Oh my god. That's hype. I love seeing that shit. Especially because that move is so quick. It's like so, so aggressive. Psychonaut and Deo up next. F equals MA moving on. Force equals mass times acceleration, yes. That's correct, Goat. You think Hanger's top tier in middleweight? I do. I think he's like top 10. There's some that are like... He's he's not like like an S plus tier. Like he's not Naga and... um Like Joker level. Or like Dragon, Golem, Arrowhead are all like slightly above him. And then like Color Pandora and Centaur I think are above him as well. But I think like... He's at the very, very end of that list of monsters before it like drops a tier. Yeah, I think Hanger is very good in middleweight. I don't know if Laser Cutter is the play though. That's just, that was a flavor pick for me. I think a lot of the time when they run them in Japan, they just run Sledgefall and the basics. But I, I really like Laser Cutter. I think it's a pretty good tech pick. I don't know if it makes him better or not, but I stand by my choice. Dale gonna take that 2-0. You win by the cutter and you lose by the cutter. Thundersnow and Oso Odorous. My real thing with middleweight is that not having techs, like matches, especially if you're a tank, can end so quickly that if you get grit, you need to be able to attack right away, right? So if you only have techs in like one slot or two slots, uh, a lot of the times you're just like not going to be able to get back into the game. And so that's why I picked up uh, Cutter, because like 
if I grit and I got 20% chance to swing it, it's better than instantly losing, right? Because I didn't have anything in slot 2. Also, these two having to fight each other is pretty funny. And laser cutter is being less accurate and gets one withering for 50 guts. I know. It does like, what, like... Five more damage and it's less accurate for double the cost. You, you should invest in Death Final. Death Final has niche play in middleweight. It's really funny. Death Final is only really bad in heavyweight. I think every other format you could like make a case for it. Welterweight's goofy. I don't think it works there either for obvious reasons, but. And that said, I mean, you could always just roll the 40% or 35% and win, right? 35% chance to instantly win is not too bad. Find death final joker. Last month they hit me three times with it and then I still won the set. I mean, the last deluxe cup winner was uh, a death final joker. It was uh, blue terror versus blue terror grand finals. It won deluxe cup too, yeah. All right. So that's only two games, right? That first game took forever. What a good grand finals, I know. Monkeys. The big bomb. That's a lot of bombs. That's a lot of bombs. 2-1. Think it was 2-1? That's 2-1. That was 2-1 that we just saw. Yeah, 2-1. Right. Pretty sure it's 3-1? 4-1? 4-1? You guys were a little late on that one. That's not my fault. Anyway, either way. Thundersnow gonna win that one. Cloaca and original bet. Oh! <laughs> Maybe JP and I did collude on this. No way. <laughs> what a specific set of circumstances had to happen. <laughs> oh my god. JP went to losers on purpose around one. And then uh, won his losers round one. So he could do this fight. Thanks for the 50 USD. I like how you say that is if... Um, like, so for those of you who don't know, JP's been helping me edit some videos lately. So I did literally pay him for videos. I don't know why he thinks that even makes sense to say that I paid him. Like he has any control over what's going on here. Do a bet for this one? Yeah, okay. Let's do a bet for this one. <laughs> a new poll. Oh, wait. Uh, not a poll. Prediction. Okay, prediction is live on these two. <laughs> when you pick, yeah, exactly, Jin. It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, predictions live. Make your bets. <laughs> oh boy. What do we got? We have eighty to twenty in favor of Cloaker right now. That is wild. All right, as it closes out, 54% in favor of Cloaca. It'd be so funny if JP lost this one. Surely that won't happen, right? He's got like 12% chance to hit. I don't think Cloaca is going to win, but he is in the lead. It's happening. It's happening. He cannot possibly lose. The charge comes out at 2% and misses a bite throw. He's just, he's running the clock. He knows exactly what he's doing. The B-Clon combo comes out. What a fool's move. A real dog move there. It goes for the claw. Oh, look at him. Masterfully running the clock. Only seven seconds left. And throws out the million bites again. He knows exactly what it takes to be a champion. Cloaca is going to win game one. Game two. Here we go. <laughs> Here's someone from Boston say Cloaca. <laughs> the, for, the forbidden accent. Yeah. Oh, the tail comes out. A big old miss there. Two in a row. Bunch of bet. Holding on to his guts because he doesn't know how to swing his moves. He doesn't know how to play the game. 
forgetting his button combos. Punch combo comes out, 34%. Look at that, another miss, the million bites at 1%. He can't land, but he's not trying to land it. That's okay, he's still in it, don't worry. He's got power, it's easy. This is easy mode, this is where he shines. Tail, gonna miss at 16%. B-clone combo misses again. Spiritual victory for Cloaca. We call that, um, that's a spiritual tool. That's okay, that round was just data. Cloaca knows what it needs to be the champion now. Goes for the fire charge at 1%, big ol' miss, but we love him for trying. You know, I wanna see drug testing done for that bug. I don't like the way it's looking at me with all its eyes. Something seems off about it. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But it can't be just me, because Cloaca wouldn't have lost that. 2-1, yeah, original bet. Giga Soy, Wojak, and Vespinato up next. TF2 scout narration. I've done... <laughs> I've done casting before. I've done a ton of commentary for fighting games and stuff. I can... I can make up a narrative on the spot. I can make it work. Uh, Vespinato. I don't really get to do much of like the actual play-by-play -play shit because it's not super interesting in Monster Rancher, right? I've talked about this before, how there was um, two guys who from, was it uh, caught? No, it was from uh, CS, uh, were commentating a Smash Bros set. And they were like losing their shit and they were super, super interesting because they didn't know what they were looking at, right? So everything was like new and exciting to them. And everybody was like, wow, look at how much energy they have. How come Smash Bros commentary isn't like that? Our commentary scene sucks. And it's like one, those two are like two of the best commentators in the world, like no matter what they do. So comparing to them is like a pretty fucked up standard for your average locals guy to like compare to. And two, it would not make sense if Johnny, who's been commentating Smash Bros. for 14 years, is like, I don't know what the fuck Pikachu is! What's going on? Like, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. You will notice for, like, DX, for the, like, DXBL and, uh, not DXBL, but for, like, um... The Deluxe Cup and stuff like that, my commentary style is a little bit different than it is in this. It's a lot less conversational and it's more about like what's going on in the match and like, you know, what uh, the builds are trying to do and stuff like that. Uh, Dagon it and Thronobo up next. It depends on who your audience is. Like, if I was doing, um, like, some stuff is, like, genuinely hype, but I think my reactions are, like, they're genuine, right? When I react to something that's, like, crazy, I don't have to scream about it, I don't have to be fucking HBox, I don't have to be, like, a human meme. You know, no, no shade to HBox, I'm sure he's a nice guy, but, like, he's so over the top, and, like, in a way that, like, a grown man shouldn't be. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's the easiest way to say that. I'm sorry, man. You're, you could have a fi family, but instead you're doing that, you know. The Maximilian approach. Maximilian's the same way, and he does have a family, so I don't know what the deal with that is. So maybe my my whole theory is just out the window, but um, it's it doesn't work for me. That's not my personality, and it would be really fake if I tried it. It's like you know, say Jan. Everybody loves Sajam, and he's not over the top. People like Loud. Children like Loud. Loud sells, but um, it doesn't make sense a lot of the time. The kick misses. Five seconds. I'm a Sajam fan. Yeah, I love Sajam. Throw no boat takes game one. The Steve Meyer moment is great, yeah. We play a Monster Tamer game, we are children, absolutely. But we can at least do our best to pretend we're not, you know? Grab, throw, no bow, he takes it. We're going, we're going home if our name is Macho Cheese. 
no points tonight, unfortunately. Uh, gold man and spiked punch up next. Yeah, commentary is hard though. And a lot of these people who are like super over the top need to do that shit to like pay their bills. So it's really not fair for me to judge. Um, because that's what the kids want to see. They're just being an entertainer in a way that, you know, makes them money. And in a way that people genuinely enjoy. So it's, uh, you know, try not to be too hard on it, but it's just, it's not for me. It's so fucking over the top. I think my most viewed stream last year was the HBox because I watched a ton of the Melee coin boxes. He's not always crazy, but like the clips are insane. If he was like that for like all stream, I'd have an end years I'm watching. The only entertaining FGC streamer is Smug. I like Smug. Ooh, brow smash, big damage. Smug's great. Smug uh, should go back to making his own videos though. The editors and like the whole like Panda Global type of video is like what makes money. So that's why he does it, but it's it's not as good as when he was just doing it himself. Using intelligence with the power, very unfortunate. People gotta do what they gotta do. Yeah, so like that's, it's whatever, right? People trying to make money, they're trying to avoid the, the nine to five, I feel it. If I hated my job, I'd be right there with them. Luckily, I don't hate my job and it pays well, so you know. I have a hard time complaining about it. Didn't Panda Global die, sorta, of, yeah. Couldn't have happened to a better org, you know? It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, it's unfortunate that it happened, and there's so many people involved that um, had nothing to do with, like, all of the, the shady dealings and stuff going on with them. Um, and, you know, it's not fair for me to be like, I'm glad they're gone because they had the shittiest content in the entire scene. So, like, I'll never say anything like that. But it just, I, I, didn't, I really didn't like what Panda was doing in the direction they were taking the scene in. So, you know, it's unfortunate that so many people lost their jobs, but also I was not a fan ever. So job lover, that's me. Some of the tech and Korean streamers are great to watch. Personal favorites, I'm your father. Yeah. There's a lot of great tech and streamers. I would like to wish everyone, including all haters and losers of which sadly there are many, a truly happy and enjoyable final DXP on my life. Trump enough here, eh? You don't want to watch Esam, Mars, and Wadi make a tier list every week? Dude, so the Smash shit was bad. Um, but the FGC stuff was like legitimately awful. It would be like a 40 minute video of like nothing. You would have the one funny clip at the beginning and then like 30 minutes of the person just fucking complaining. Just like not having any fun playing the game. They were just like, I hate this shit, this stupid fucking character for 30 minutes, and then you see the one clip, the like one funny clip that was like featured at the beginning of the video at the very end. And it was just that over and over again, just the most miserable fucks playing a game. And it's like, dude, go fucking pour cement or something. Like it pays better. And you know, at least you'll get out of the house. You chose this job. It can't suck that bad. Bruce Bone's gonna win that one, two, one. LT Pal World tier list win. <laughs> Doppel Cruise and Cavity up next. I've been taking uh, Pal World super, super casually. I have fan uh, friends, like I have a, like an IRL friends Discord that none of you guys are in because I don't know you folks. Um, and a couple of my friends in there are super like they're sharing videos and like the wiki and like oh this is the best like setup and this and that and i'm like i made a big house out of stone 
I made a big nice house. <laughs> I made sure all my guys are nice and happy and I have a big house with a nice rug. The LTG approach, it's not LTG bad, but like just they they know that negativity draws people in. And stuff like that is like a big reason why I don't want to do DQM streams. Because it's like, I don't want to be that guy. I hate watching that shit. And I, I don't think it's fun. When we were playing with the pigs, every now and then, there was like a time where I was like, ah, well, nothing you can do about that. That sucks, or that's unlucky. But it was like genuinely fun, and we had so many funny moments, and it was great to see the little pigs do their thing. And so, it, when I stream DQM in the future, it's going to be stuff like that, like off-kilter teams and like goofy builds and things. Ooh. What a fucking mess. Dude, I'm in a different server. That house... Macho, did you not catch the, the end of the last uh, PAL World stream I did, though? Because uh, I cleaned up my mess in, in a, with extreme prejudice. Was it 2-0 by the way? Uh Aeone and Tornios up next. It's also like I've there's been lots of stuff I've tried to stream and I've like not had fun doing it. And like this game's not good for this, or like I'm not enjoying it. And because of that, I just don't stream it anymore. And I think that's probably for the best. Things like the speed run of uh, Monster Rancher Battle Card. Th that's the most RNG heavy speed run I think I've ever seen in my life. It's just, you have to hope against hope like 40 hands in a row for the first bit of the game. The first four or five matches in the game, you're like hopelessly outclassed on hard mode and you just have to hope. You just have to hope you win. I wasn't able to watch it there, you'll have to check it out. JP's uh, editing it down to a shorter video, so you'll you'll see it. I cleaned up my mess, don't worry. I mean a bunch of pals came and burned his mess down. So that shit happened in the the private server I'm in, but that it's a different world than the world I was playing on stream. Oh, he's got real! Blinding's not gonna do any damage. Any one game one, right? Oh, the real war off. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, okay, so that's a 2-0, right? I do believe. 1-1? One, one? Okay, thank you. Has no accuracy ever been attempted in middleweight? No, I don't think so. I mean, there have been builds. I think, like, the most popular one is there's the Kelmatics that kept running around in uh, Japan that had high life and high speed, and then, like, 700 uh, power and 700 skill or something like that. Tornillo's gonna take it. I think the first wooden base is always doomed to death by fire in the end. It always happens to everyone I know. Yeah, no matter what. It's some uh, Final Destination shit. In middleweight? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's middleweight. Mateo and Momentos. It might be like 500 skill. It's low. It has like 25 to 30 percent chance to hit, and it only has the basics. But because it only has the basics, it's um, it's super tanky. It's good at dodging, and um, it uh, only has to hit like once to like tie it up most of the time. And against tanks, you know, it doesn't need to worry about it at all. Wasn't there some 500 skill anti-tank builds for a while? It speaks faster than I think. Yeah. I think the classic tank killer in middleweight is something like max life, max offense, and 500 or so skill and defense just to eat tanks. Yeah, it's just, it's not common. I think people normally go um, like 800 life and then like 700 speed 
if they're going 500 skill. Oh, the meteor hits. It's not enough. He's got real, though. It's going to be real interesting. Keeps getting withered. Energy shot is the play. Ah, uh, that's it. Don Quixote. That's right. Um, yeah, it, it entered a couple of the DXPLs. What's really funny is Don Quixote won a tournament in Japan where the loser advanced. <laughs> it was the worst monster in the tournament. It just lost and lost and lost and lost. And that, it, that's actually a pretty good segue to what our first tournament back after the Deluxe Cup is going to be. Because we got to run the Deluxe Cup after GXBL is over. Alright, I got to fight mementos. I don't like this shit. The first tournament back after the Deluxe Cup for this channel, run by yours truly, is going to be a loser moves on bracket. Uh, there's a lot of rules to make it fun and not just like annoying and boring, but that's going to be what we're aiming for. First time you and I get to fight, is it actually? This is your time to go O2? Hell yeah. Oh, you mean in the other one. I saw coffee. Yeah, don't call it that, though. Okie dokie. Very similar builds. Rancher for Don Quixote has a website for the build analysis for his mods, which is pretty cool. It's the same as the basics, Draco Kato. Yeah, they've entered a ton of stuff. I forget their name, but yeah, they've entered a ton of stuff. The double death thrust miss? Intelligence Golem. There, there's a lot of, like, stipulations in place, so you can't just, like, get a bunch of intelligence and no intelligence attacks, right? I thought long and hard about it. I'm not big on making tournaments where there's just like the best builds are unfun. Power stab throw, done miss. The leaping kick with the crit, it was enough. I was thinking of a similar format where everyone had to enter monsters and had to predict their record and the closest to that record wins. That's pretty funny. You entered a base stats monster. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I haven't foreseen this. So, cat beats dog. Titanic and Eye Flames up next. Slow guts are with low accuracy moves. You know, you guys can start thinking about what you would want to run for it, but before you see the, the rules, it might be exercise and futility. Okay, the big boys, and this is a no missing kind of fight. It's looking like the double tail whip. All right, Titanic uh, has dodged one attack despite 800 speed. That's still true. Oh, two bites, or sorry, two attacks. Sorry, tail ashes hits a little bit of damage. Not the best move for him to be using here, but at least he's doing a little bit of withering. Trample comes out at 37. Big ol' miss. The Earthquake gonna finish him off. We got a game three. And knocking up. Tail lashes. And head out early. You're sleepy, boy. That is pretty early. Not even 11 o'clock. Well, have a good one, macho. I flame's gonna take that one. Next up, F equals M A versus Deo. To enter a mock straight from the shrine. I'm sure the rules haven't foreseen that. Yeah, I don't. There's been a lot of times, and like, I try not to be hard on like other people's rule sets or anything, right? And this hasn't been a thing I've had to worry about in quite a long time. But there was a time where, like, you know, there's lots of new players who want to run their own tournaments, and 
I try real hard not to be negative. I, I try to not be like, don't do that. That's a stupid idea. So I don't, I don't tell people that. But I try to give them suggestions on like how to make the rules a little bit more interesting or to so it'll be more fun for more people. Because there's been lots of tournaments in the past where people were running stuff and it was like, this gimmick is bizarre and like people don't like this. But like, I, there's no nice way to say that. So you try to be like, what if the rules were like this instead or something? Or like, what if you made this little change? Rolling slash, is it gonna be enough? Oh my God, we're going to game three. The vertical cyclone coming in. Yeah, constructive criticism. Oh, the charge, it's not enough though. He's got a huge guts lead, the rolling slash at 34, it's gonna land. And FMA is moving on. Full equals metal alchemist, it's true. Thunder Snow and original bet coming up next. Night avenging all the dead genies. I know he. He's wearing, it's like he's wearing their skeletons, it's gross. Okay, Power b -clon and Intelligence Ape. Big damage on the sneeze, the thwack's gonna come out, that's not gonna do any damage though. Click, clack, the thwack's coming out. The blast at 45, blast is such a good move, man. Blast, unironically, is like one of Ape's best moves after its basics, and maybe swing throw. Isn't Beacon a DQM guy? Yeah. He's also a Pal World guy. <laughs> Beacon, C L O N, is this guy. Oh, okay. Well, that's it. Thunder Snow, I'm gonna move on. I think that was three games, but that's fine. Um, Vespinato and Thernobo. Isn't that 3-0? Yeah. Monkeying around. We're just, we do a little monkeying around on stream. You didn't need to get big blasted. It's true, you didn't. I'm sorry. All right. This is the only power ape. Thernobo is the only power ape in the tournament, I do believe. Hinge thing. Good damage, not enough to kill. Real power, look at that. So power is still gonna be a bigger boost than the real defensive boost is, but now the defensive boost is gone and inverted. The colossal was still enough though. Damn, got him. He got him. Going to game number two, Espinado survives that somehow. The slap's gonna miss. What do we got? Boss all doing a good chunk. The grab throw miss. Two in a row. He's still got an okay amount of guts. He just needs to like dodge one thing. Oh, the thwack though. That's rough for Monkey Man. Boss all misses and again. Hits the third time. A lot of missing in that match. Goldman and Bruce Bones up next. This has been a pretty fun tournament. A lot of crazy matches. All right. 37% Brow Smash. He's only had to fight Speedsters, but it hasn't stopped them. Missing the Brow Smash, though. He's in a little bit of trouble here. The Double Tail Assault into the TK. It's a little bit of withering. Chance for Bruce Bones here to proc ease, but I don't actually know if White Suezo gets ease. It's a Pink Eye thing, so I don't... Which makes Pink Eye a little bit worse as a tank in general. 
telekinesis into the I beam. It's been a scary ass losers bracket. Yeah, but everything here is like super killer. There's the ease. It does have ease. Okay. The telepathy is going to take it. Telepathy? I don't know why I said it like that. Telepathy is the word. That's how you pronounce it. All right. Original bets lost. And then Thronobo lost. And Goldman just won that one. Cavity and Tornillos up next. Fire charge opener? Yeah. Love that move. Even when it misses. Misses it again. But he's still only down like 20 guts. Oh, hits the crit jumping claw. Flattening gonna do a good chunk. Spike bite? It's not enough. Torneo still in it. <gasps> the foolery! Oh no. Oh he had a shot. He could have done it. Putting back to back Sobros, yeah. Hits the fire charge, good damage. Not enough and he's down a lot. The spike bike gonna do a good chunk. It's angry though, he can get back into this. He got a very fast guts rate for a zoom. Tail combo miss. Just doesn't have grit. I marked Goldman is winning, I did. Yeah, that's my bad. Bruce Bones definitely won that one. Ooh, he hits the tails game number three i accidentally i accidentally marked it as him winning but yeah he missed like everything bruce bones wins that one and torneo's gonna take it damn the sobro's killer look at that torneo wins that one two one we are now in our play-ins to top 16 loser side i think no we still have one more round to go god damn I think one, two, three. No, no. Yeah, it's playing to the top 16 loser side. I have to mark that. Okay. So first up, big beat and mementos. Walls weak to tornillos, lore accurate. Yeah. <laughs> this is, I think, a rough matchup for me. Yeah, Wild Terrain has a 10 guts rate. It's extremely fast. It's just, it doesn't get grit. That's the problem. It gets real, though. So, you know, you get the extra defensive boost there. Okay, here we go. Death Punch. Good crit. Two in a row. Two crits in a row. Look at that. He's got anger now. Angry Hammerfall with a guts lead. Good chunk. He's angry. They're both angry. Here comes the laser cutter. That's going to do it for game one. Scary for both of us, but I have the advantage. That's basically it. It's like you have like a 55% chance to win, is what I would say. That's like basically what it is. Maybe 60%, but like a 40% is absolutely doable. The double hammer fall, I'm fucked now, I think. Yeah, big damage. Oh, there's the grit, but I still have a huge guts deficit. I need to swing first. Am I going to? I am not. Going to game three. Here we go. I need one crit. <laughs> Alright, there's the anger. I'll take the anger. And there's the laser cutter. Big beat. Gonna take it. GG's. It's a pretty spooky matchup. Once you get into the top tiers, it's just like... It comes down to order of operations. It's like who attacks how many times in a row, who gets power, who gets grit, who gets anger. That was a fun set. No grits. Yeah, unfortunately. GG's though. Good monster, obviously. Bad luck, duck, and purgatory.
All right, we're getting close to our betting rounds. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, the name says it all, right? It's what's on the it's what's in the tin. All right, the double bound. Damn, punch doing big damage. This is the second one. They both got 60 guts. Bound charge. Good chunk. Good chunk. The bound misses, though. The 100 blows comes out again. Womp, womp, womp. Womp, womp, womp. He gets it. Okay. Um, I'll snail Erico and Titanic up next. This is going to be an interesting one. Tank fight. I guess Titanic's not a tank. I just he keeps having to fight tanks. He's an honorary tank. Tanks get one shot by that dude. Yeah, Night Spider. Hope you had a good time in stream. See on the next one, the wave riding comes out. It's not enough to kill, but it is a lot of guts down. Thankfully for Snail Erico, that move takes a million years to finish, so he's back in it. Swings a shell attack and misses. Titanic just needs to swing one thing here to get the kill. Headbutt's gonna do it. There's the grit, though. He's still alive. Whip can do a little chunk. Another headbutt comes out, though. And just like that, we got a game three. Nighton, more like tuck you in and kiss you. Good night, Tom. Mm. Tecmo Sorcerers were at their peak when they crashed Monster Hunter 2 models. Low poly that age like wine. They, they legitimately do look really good, yeah. You don't really get the full effect of the textures and things like that because, you know, the the upscaling is, like, absolute garbage in this version of the game. And everything looks kind of crappy. But on an actual CRT, the models and the textures look so good. They're so smooth. I remember I was looking at something on my, uh, my PS1 a couple of months ago. And just Hopper jumping up and down looked like it was like gonna jump out of the screen at me. Like it, it was so much better than like what he looks like now. The baked in shading makes me smile. Yeah, it, it looks great. It just does not look great in this version of the game. Looks like they gave Mochi a rash. Um, granola and FMA. I need to get a like a CRT shader to go over my stream. Do you remember the game looking really good on my old TV too? It's also not like this, right? Like a pixel perfect like 3-4 is actually closer. Like it's squished in a tiny bit. And the uh, I don't know. It, it it looks magical though. It looks so much better. The spiral Rush doing a good chunk of damage there. Rolling Slash not going to miss, though. Hard to deal with that move when uh, it's not going to miss. Oh, that is so much withering. Look at that. He's got power, though, and he's in that Rush Slash range. Is he going to do it? V Slash pretty cheap, too? No, he's going to get a shot. The man got shot. Monster Rancher 4 looks awful on flat screen. It looks pretty bad on CRT, too, just to be fair. Don't miss the headaches of CRT. I have one in my room here, just out of frame. You guys can't see it. I have not even plugged it in. I, I made sure when I set up the office, I could fit in my CRT to like play retro shit on it. And I have literally not plugged a single thing into it. The headaches. How about literal headaches? Hey, Evie, thank you for the raid. The big old V slash. Throw a CRT filter on the stream? That's what I said. <laughs> I said I should set that up. Um, 
but yeah there's a like for mine makes like a really high pitched whining noise and I have to like bang it to get it to stop no the triple shots again oh, the grit grit too strong heavy how are you doing how was your stream stream went well 2-1 F equals MA just falls short 17th place helmet and thunder snow up next Went all right? Hell yeah. That's what we like to hear. All right. Two most beautiful words in the English language. Think you're going to head out for the night? Start planning on heavyweight next week? Yeah, we got one more. Let me know if you end up putting up the Meadows Power World server again. So I think um, the goal is to get an actual server. And not just have it so I have to be online for everyone else to play. Um, also, my computer can't handle that. It's a lot. When you touch the screen, you gain lightning in your fingers. That's true. Oh my god. Have you seen that fucking video? Do you guys follow? What's his name? Graham something? Dude, there's this guy on YouTube. I, I assume he makes TikTok videos as well. But, um... Genuinely the funniest fucking... The Gaussier TV. This one doesn't have an option. Not... That was like a fairly new thing. Like, lots of low-end the CRTs don't have. I entered iFlames wrong. He won 2-0, not Titanic. Did he? Just watched it back? All right, we got to we gotta redo some matches. That's okay, though. 2-1 iFlames. All right, thank you for the watch. I appreciate you catching me on that. Is it me or the battle smoother and faster than usual? Yes, they're running at two times speed. This game has a fast forward function and we would not be able to get it all done in one night if we were running at normal speed. This is what the game normally looks like. And this is 30 FPS. I like the way this looks better, but it just is not possible to run it this way. But yeah, thank you, Lame. Very, very good catch. Really appreciate that. But we do have a couple of uh, matches to run back then. That's the thing. Watch the tournaments, because if I fuck up on your monster, you get to yell at me. Doesn't let you appreciate everything. It's just, the thing is, the timing, like so many of these moves have like perfect cinematic timing. Uh, they just, they look fantastic. They have the right amount of weight to them. Uh, the big attacks feel really, really heavy, and the small attacks, for the most part, feel like, you know, piddly little attacks. And when it's sped up, that shit just, it all goes out the window. But, uh, we gotta do it or else, you know. If I was running tournaments with, like, 20 monsters in it, absolutely. But trying to get 50 monsters done in 4 hours is rough. I am double-checking again, I think I just entered the 2-1 wrong. It's possible I did. And then, because I entered it wrong, the next match was wrong. Clown punches look appropriately devastating. <laughs> that one's like, maybe not. Also, wait, Mo Mochi wins. Mochi makes top 16, look at that. The Mochi did the thing. Sir Galaslam and Vespinato up next. We gotta go back and uh, fix the mistake we made, but... We'll get that in a sec. We gotta do... Um... Iflames versus Snail Erico. That's the only one, right? Yeah, Iflames versus Snail Erico. Two on Iflames, one win on Bite, one loss on Quake. Yeah, no, I, okay, it makes sense that he won. Mochi won Chi. Buy the next Monster Rancher game, Chi. Hell yeah. b clone Rolling Bomb, I think, is the most devastating looking but not actually hard hitting move in the game. He, like, does a huge wind up for it. There's, like, sparks behind him and shit. Like, leaves a trail of fire with him. And then it's like, oh, this is a hit tech. <laughs> oh, dude, the natural grit and then the regular grit. Oh, my God. All right, he misses the punch. He only needs to do one damage, though. All right. Espinado needs one more hit here. The 
trample and miss at 30%. I'll get the matches were fast too, and just like you said, big moves can make it tricky. Yeah, it's, I mean, I try not to make mistakes like that, but thank you for pointing it out. All right, Vespinato, moving on to top 16. We got two more matches, and then we'll go back and do the El Snail Erico versus Eye Flames. Apollyon and Bruised Bones up next. Gotta love this late life stage in PS1 games. Little Polly at its best. I know. It's, uh... Because this game was, what, 2000, right? Or 99? So that was, like, right on the, the cusp. Imagine they did remake Monster Rancher 2 and added more breeds. Or at the very least, just put UKMR on Steam, yeah. So it was still like three years until the PS2, but so that that's like midlife because it was what 96 is when it came out, right? So 96, then 99, 2002, right in the middle. Vagrant Story looks fantastic. That's one of the best looking games like of all time. Been replaying Legend of Dragoon again. It's still look, look every few minutes like damn, this game is fucking pretty. I. I loved Legend of Dragoon. It is like a top five of all time game for me. I think the game looks like shit. <laughs> I think the game looks fucking terrible. <laughs> the backgrounds are good. The models are bad, yes. I like that Legend of Dragoon looks like shit. Dude, Fairbrand, the Fairbrand model is just unbelievably bad what the fuck is it supposed to be it's like a praying mantis dragon but like it's got these like big mandibles that like just kind of look like rectangles stuck to its face it's so funny i mean compared to like mgs that came out a year before it so it came out the same year as this right it came out 99 yeah that's bad <laughs> <laughs> i love the game though um everything is like very blocky though it's kind of got you know it always draws comparisons to final fantasy 7 because you know it has like the exact same story and people who love uh final fantasy love to say that it's a ripoff even though the game outside of its story is like completely dissimilar um but they both have the same, like, chunky, like, everybody is made out of, like, Roblox looks, you know? Levitz over Aerith. Okay, everybody agrees. Exact same, exact same story. Like, the premise is the exact same. You got your white-haired villain comes to burn down the fucking town, and then you spend your whole adventure, like, fighting about him. Don't think the LOD was about capitalism. It doesn't have the same themes. The story just in general is not as good. It's, it's more of just, like, a generic uh, fantasy. But if you're looking at it from, like, the outsider perspective of someone who only has played Final Fantasy, it's the same story, right? Like... Oops, I entered that one wrong. Uh, that was 2-0 for Bruised Bones. I'm sure there's a lot more similarities if you are like, actually sit down and look at it, but... Um, it's not a ripoff though it's just it's a game that actually started production before Final Fantasy and then just kind of like got stuck in uh, dev hell for like four years uh Tornios when you put it that way the Buster guy is basically Sephiroth. Buster. Dragon Buster, guys. His name's Lloyd. Excuse me. At least Levitz had a replacement. <laughs> even Shauna gets a replacement. She doesn't even die. She just gets tired. And they're like, don't worry. We got someone else. <laughs> Legend of Dragoon is more akin to SNES RPG stories. It's very un-Final Fantasy in a lot of ways. It's more of a high fantasy story i guess it's like more old final fantasy by the time seven rolled around they were very much like we need social commentary in our game and uh legend dragon is like what if big dragons 
and spooky man from the moon wants to eat the world. I, I forget what Mel, Mel Buframa's deal is, but... Pornios, one win away from top 16. In a world with Kongol, Miranda, Miranda is still more for, for, well, forgettable. Kongol is great. I love Kongol. He's probably my favorite character. I, I, I like Meru, too. Meru is the most fun to play. Tail Lashes. Tornados. Tor tornillos. I could go for some Tornillos right now. Some Tornillos con queso. Sounds delicious. The double jumping claw, the crit? That was a wild kill. That was a wild Saurian kill if I've ever seen one. Oh my god. Got him. That was a tornado claw. That was a tornillo claw. 2 1. 2 1. Alright, we got our last match. We got El Snail Erico and I Flames coming up next. And then we're into top 16. I'm going to take a quick break to go get some water. I can feel I'm starting to trip over my words because my mouth is dry. Hashel is right there. Hashel is cool. Hashel is also fun to play, but he's not Meru fun. Meru is like, has the most fun additions in the game, I think. Um, and I flames. Okay, tank fight. This is why I said tank fight last time. I was so confused when I saw Titanic because I was like, I thought these two were tanks fighting. I forgot the name of the girl in purple and LOD is so hot. That's Rose. That's what everyone's talking about. Oh. That trample lands. Oh my god, the crit trample. We're going to game three just like that. Usually end up sucking with Albert and Lavitz. Albert's uh, Gust of Wind Dance isn't actually that bad. It's got a, like, the meme is that it's super hard, but it's like, it's very, very forgiving. It's not too bad. It's just a lot of buttons and people like panic. I find Shauna to be hot. <laughs> there's, like, there's like nine pixels in the game. I guess they have character portraits. All right, so small change. Unfortunately, El Snail Erico does not make top 16, but I Flames does instead. Apologies, Freya. We are into our top 16. I'm gonna go get some water. I'm gonna run a quick ad, and I'll see you guys in just a sec. Hey, welcome back. Harpoon! What's uh, the Madness Hero is the one where the voice line cuts off, right? It goes like, Hero! But like the O gets cut off on the end. It's great. And game's got really fucked up voice acting. It's, in, in the last scene, it's incredible. In the, the ending cinematic. Um, was Burning Rush the one that had like 9,000 SP? Yeah, I think it was. Or it might be, um, Burning Rush had a hundred, I think. It was like the first one you could get that was like not damage based. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Madness Hero, I think was the one that had like 200 though. Um, okay. So anyway, that's, that's a different game altogether. We're talking about Monster Rancher right now. We are in our top 16 of the DXBL3 last week of middleweight. Pretty exciting. Um, everybody who's left in the tournament has got points. First up, we got Smorbit and What the Dog Doing. And we are going to do some betting. But it's 11.24. Okay, we'll bet on top 8. I want to finish by midnight. I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule a little bit. Which means I'm probably not going to stay up to make a thumbnail for this tonight. I'll do that tomorrow morning. Okay, yeah, we'll do betting on top eight. 
I think Legend Dragon was a good baby's first RPG for the PS1 era. It was really simple compared to other games. Yeah, items are just, items raise your stats. Like each accessory raises your stats. It's not a lot to like balance or like weigh pros and cons against. You just need to be good at the, the timing stuff. Defense is really strong. If you defend, it recovers 10% of your HP. Super good to heal that way. It, it's also an interesting game that, in that it's fun to grind because there's an active element to it, you know? Holy shit, hard straight, doing big damage. What the dog do in one game one, right? Yeah, so that's a 2-0. The dog wins 2-0, I do believe. Right? I think so. Hood Classic and I shank a lot. What about this dog, though? Am I gonna get another one wrong? It's getting late. I'm at that point where I c I'm gonna start making mistakes. Okay. He'll become a monster, monster nature too, which monster fits my personality? Oh boy, the dog did win, okay. Um, what monster fits my personality? I don't know. Hard to say, maybe like, I don't know, Golem, probably. I'm low key. I'm a nice guy. I like to do big damage. But that's so many scratches. Holy shit, dog. So is that... I'm answering your questions. I'm not paying attention. I think the dog wins that, right? Or did the Naga win game one? I have to watch that one back. I'm not paying any attention. I gotta, like, get my head back in the game. <gasps> oh, my God. That was 2-0? Okay, okay, okay. So, I've, I've, I've got it right twice, but I just... I'm second-guessing myself now. After that thing with Lame's monster, I'm, like, spooked that I've made mistakes now. Even though that was just an after-the-fact thing where I accidentally entered the score wrong. Which could still happen. Uh, ooh, ooh. Dude, I cannot get it! It's too hard. It's the hardest part of the game is spelling UWU. Saying that's pretty hard, too. Okay. A lot of tanky boys. Middleweight do be the tankiest format. Face attack. It's really funny too, the first time I ever heard about this format was when uh, Tecmo was running it for the Japanese release of Monster uh, Farm 2 on Switch and mobile devices a year before DX came out. That's actually how I found the Discord and all that stuff. It's because I heard that was coming out. Um, oh no, I joined when Monster Rancher 1 was announced. And then Monster Rancher 2 came out a little bit after. Kokoro wins game 1. And um, the, that was the first time I had heard of 2997. And I remember me and Al were sitting there. And we're both just like simultaneously like... The best build has got to be max power skill in life, right? Like there's nothing that... Like that's got to be the best build. And so it took like two seconds to figure out the meta. <laughs> Kokoro with the 2-0. It's really funny. It's, it seems like very obvious. Spike strip and plum. Okay. 
Plum's got the speed, though. Spike Strip's got the speed. So we got some tanky boys. We got some speedy boys. We got, uh, wow. All right. That's big damage. Needle stabs miss. Got a spike bite, and this is there. Ooh, big damage. All right, Plum takes game one. Going to game two. I take off now. Had a fun, a lot of fun watching. Did you, thank you. Thanks for watching. All right, Spikester wins game number two. We're going to game three. Here we go. Flattening miss. The kick comes out. Gives him the boot. The brow hit's gonna miss there. Another kick. Spike Strip's got a huge guts lead now. Oh my god, that's a big old bite. Big old bite. He gets him. He's moving on. That means plums and losers. Oh god. Hope I don't have to fight him. Alright. We've got some losers to get through, and then... We will start doing bets in top eight. Big Beat and Purgatory up first. All right. I got to watch out for that 100 blows. Oh, laser cutter opener? Jeez. When laser cutter opens, it's also a closer. Game two, here we go. Okay. <laughs> that, that that was a little aggressive. Laser cutter again. <laughs> well, all right. Okay, that was a set. GGs. I flames and granola up next. Didn't I flames win two one? <laughs> Over who? I hate you guys sometimes. The one match we watched? Yes, that's why he's in the tournament right now. He was already in losers when he won the match. You guys are trying to spook me. You guys are trying to spook me like iFlames is spooking granola. It is worth pointing it out. If you if you ever think I'm wrong with it, it's it's worth mentioning. I joke about it, but I, I do actually really appreciate people who are willing to let me know because nothing feels worse than being eliminated when you didn't deserve to be eliminated. Double trample, gonna take that for iFlames. So not only did we almost stop him from making top 16, we almost stopped him from making top 12. Helmet and Vespinato up next. Mochi has a chance to do something real funny here. I think Mochi has only had to fight Speedmons. Right? I don't think he's had to fight a tank yet. Was Goldman a tank? Goldman was a tank. Did he, even, did he fight Goldman? I'm making stuff up. Helmet fought Thunder Snow. Yeah. He lost to Kyle, and then he fought Thunder So, so he's only had to fight speed monsters. Mm. 
Okay. And despite that, he keeps hitting roll assault. <laughs> the double is hidden sting. He's got a 70 guts lead. The press comes out. 41% chance on press. Pretty good. Will attack 40%. He misses it. He can't survive another attack. Has to go for the roll assault. He Dude. This arrowhead has ease. <laughs> Holy. It, it's good. Like, it makes sense on a speed mon. I don't think I've ever seen an arrowhead do ease before, though. Into the hidden sting. He got rolled. He got mochi rolled. He got dazzling rolled. Espinado wins that one 2 0. Bruised Bones and Torneos up next. Pretty sure Okane proc before. Out there. It's possible, but. I don't know. I don't remember every little interaction. You know how many times I've seen something and been like, oh my god, that's the first time I've ever seen that. And it's like, absolutely not. Like, I've, I've definitely seen that happen before. But you forget. And, you know, you do so many thousands of matches. And if there's a gap of 2,000 matches between when it happens and happens again, you know? Oh, the I beam. He's angry now, though. There's the bite throw. Yeah, you're super dead. Tornios takes game one. Game two. Oh. Trying to make it spicy. He's angry. He's getting withered a little bit, but he's still got 40. Guts and the tail lashes is enough. That's the hit tech, baby. When they hit tech to one hit kill, you're in trouble. Tornios moving on. 2 0. All right, ooh, FO and big beat. I should get paid for every time I get beat by this fucking monster. <laughs> this matchup's happened so many times. Uh, we'll make it work. Is this the time? I don't know. We'll see. All right. Last round before top eight. Whip. Punch. 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 Crit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That was that was a game. Violent Shell is gonna do big damage. Not enough to kill in one hit. Hammerfall with anger. And the fury? You don't need fury. I've got one life, baby. All right, million whips, another 99. <laughs> okay, I'm out, I'm out. I'm still in it, baby. That hammer fall, it happens, I do it. Look at the fucking sweat stains. Yeah, on the edge of my seat. We did it. Hell yeah. Undeserved, but I'll take it. Game one was funny. Plum GG, Selvi. You've beat me enough times. Plum and Eye Flames up next. Got sweat stains on the edge of my pits. I gotta change my shirt. <laughs> For me, they're they're not uh, those aren't stains. That's that's still wet. <laughs> that's what laundry's for. Any day you get to beat Selvi's monster is a day you're you're doing good. You know. Of some sequence of events. Oh my god. All right. Trample. Okay. Oh, I gotta fight. Oh no. I don't want to fight either of these guys. I don't like this at all. Oh, I really hope I don't have to fight the cyclone. Trample's not much better. Good damage on the slap. Another charge gonna come in. He grits though. He's got a 60 guts lead. This is gonna be huge. The bite misses at 70%. <gasps>
Oh no, goes for another one. He takes it. Eye flames. All right. I think I'm slightly safer with trample than I am with cyclone, but we'll see. I don't know. I still don't think that's very good for me. Uh, Smorbit and Vespinato up next. Okay. Damn, big damage off the hop. The combo's not enough to kill. Oh, the hard straight. One shots him, man. Another hidden sting, though. The grit, the double grit. Who hits next? Big bang at 62%. Using all your guts there, eh? Smart bit. Has a good chance to attack again, but Vespinato is going to come out first. Takes game one. Very much Cyclone is like it is what it is, but getting trampled feels extra bad with how much less time is spent on middle slots. I suppose, but um, I'll take the chance to win versus the thing I have no control over. Or I guess I have no control over any of it, but you know what I mean. Ooh, the spin kick miss. Vespinato, the double grit. Is he gonna win on it? He grits twice and he wins. The hit tech's not enough in that matchup that time. Espinado wins that one 2-0. And our final match before top eight, Hood Classic and Tornillos. So Tornillos has been on a tear. Can he beat maybe like the third strongest monster in the entire game? I believe in him. Mostly because I love this build. All right. Fire charge opener. A little bit of damage. Procs the anger, though. Okay, Thwack's what he wants, because there's no withering on the Thwack. Another charge. No crit, though. Another Thwack. Claw. Not going to be enough, but two claws would do it. Another Thwack. Another Thwack. <laughs> he just Thwacks. Game two. Jumping Claw. A little bit of damage, a little bit of withering, no uh, anger proc this time into the turn assault. It's enough. Well, Tornillo speed drilling, yeah. He did his best, but he didn't land a single crit, and he needed crits to win that one, because that's, that's a rough matchup. The Hood Classic, moving on. All right, we are in top eight, so we are going to be doing some betting. What the dog doing versus I shank a lot. Two speed tigers. 100 stress for nothing. <laughs> it's such a pain in the ass to get it to. You ban this mon. I, have I got news for you? Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like? Got 30 seconds. The two dogs. A tale of two doggies. All the bets in right now are on what the dog doing. Not a single mon believes in eye shank a lot. Not a single person believes in eye shank a lot. Oh! As things close out, it's 60% on Ishank a lot. Big bets at the end. Roll Assault is like made for this matchup though. Ooh, the stab miss. Another Roll Assault miss at 65. That is like the play though. Oh, the stab. Shanky. Gonna get it. Game two. The Roll Assault miss again. Big damage on the scratch. And like just enough on the damage that he can't proc power. Another bite, it misses. The stab, they both go for the stab, eh? Scratch with a huge guts lead. Shank is moving on to winner's finals. Pretty quick match. 2-0. Next up, we got Kokoro and Spike Strip. 
Kokoro has been around since the very first DXBL tournament, so it's pretty cool to see him still doing well. Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like out of these two? Check your channel points predictions. Who do you like? Do you like the tank color Pandora? Do you like the speedy mono? Both of them got a pretty good shot, I do believe. We got 3k to 1k. People are liking. Yeah, 75% on Spike Strip. All right. <laughs> oh, okay, he grits. He's not out of it yet. You know, Stab's gonna do good damage. Two in a row. Gonna put him in the yellow. It's power. But, uh, oh, the grit. And he's got the guts lead now. Base attack misses at 64%. Tail swing at 65. Base attack at 59. He lands it. He's just gonna keep swinging. Something's gonna land. Kokoro wins game number one. Ooh, spike stabs. Good damage. And again, puts him in the yellow. No power this time. Kamikaze, though, should be enough. That's it. That's it. So that goes to Kokoro. Next up, we are into losers now. Kokoro wins that one 2 0. Oh. We got Big Beat and Eye Flames. Prediction is live. Who do you like out of these two mons? Big Beat on the player one side, Eye Flames on the player two side. They're both uh, both pretty good mons. Eye Flames does have the higher damage potential. For whatever that means, they're both like able to two shot each other. <laughs> really tough to say who's gonna take it here. Big bets on Big Beat. About three to one odds on eye flames. There we go. The double punch, this is quite bad for Big B. The the guts lead is not you never want to have a huge guts deficit in a matchup like this. Trample will just kill you dead. And the same way on the other side too. If eye flames were to attack with bite a bunch of times in a row, he'd be in a lot of trouble. The 50 guts lead, this is gonna do a good chunk. Two in a row, and no grit on Big Beat side. iFlame's going to take game number one. Game two. Laser Cutter opener. 600 damage. Tail Whip going to do a little bit. 311. Hammerfall going to land. Another grit. The Heavy Chop comes out, though. Big Beat stops the grit. We're going to game three. Bite opener, a little bit of withering. Laser cutter in retaliation, huge damage into the hammer fall. And that's gonna be it. Not a single trample was used. Big Beat's gonna take that one. GG's lame. All right, Vespinato and Hood Classic up next. Big Beats on fire, he's doing pretty good. I made him at the very end of the last um, DXBL season two, for the very last middleweight tournament that season, because I was like, I need something better than what I'm currently running. And so I made him, and I think he got ninth, which like, you know, or seventh or something, but I think only top two advanced, so he didn't make it, but. Okay, prediction is live. But he did good. I'm, um, you know.
been on and off due to work. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to be here. Just appreciate you hanging out at all. Okay. Everybody's betting on Hood Classic here. Literally 231 to 1 odds. Oh. And it's about 120 to 1 odds on Vespin Auto. <laughs> Alright, Hint's thing, we've seen that the, the Sacred Combo doesn't kill in this situation. Stab can do big damage. Oh, the turn assault misses. Espinado's got a shot, he's dodging for his life. The punch wasn't enough though. Good classic, the two stabs, that's all it takes. Solid Mon, big beat, yeah, I think he's pretty good. Okay, there's a crit. Even with the crit on Hint's thing, it wouldn't be enough. The double crit, the punch, they're about even though. He's only down 10 guts. Oh, the Pierce comes out. Hood classic. It's scary in every slot. Everything is terrifying on Naga. Alright, so he wins that. Nobody wins like any points because it was 99 to 1. Next up, we got what the dog doing in Big Beat. So Big Beat got knocked into losers by the other dog. I'm late, but nice to catch Monster Rancher 2 stream. Welcome. Yeah, we've, uh, we're in top 8 now, so we're almost done. Okay, prediction is live. Who do you like here? I think Hood Classic might be good. Unsure, though. <laughs> we need more data on whether or not uh, Time Noise is a good monster, I think. The thing is, we don't see him in a lot of tournaments, so it's hard to say how good he is. <laughs> I think I made that joke about Metalner in the in the welterweight tournament. I'm like, who who would have thought that Metalner would do this? We never get to see him in tournament. And the one time he shows up, he gets top eight. It's wild. Seventy six percent on big beat. Roll assault opener not great for what the dog doing. Bike can do a little bit of damage. Heavy chop not enough to kill. Great amount of life there. Oh, a second chop that was going to take it. Big Beat just smoked him in the head. We need more data. Metal Nerd might be good like Jill, it's true. Laser Cutter. You know, it's been his go-to. I don't blame him for swinging it, even though it's a speed mon. He has beat speed mons with it today. Oh, the one two, it's not enough to kill though. Hammerfall, 43%. He's swinging. Tries it again. You know, when you know you're going to die in the next hit, it's worth just going for whatever you can before you get hit. Game three, here we go. Oh, the double one, too. That's the three, four. Hammerfall's going to miss at 48%. Best chance it's going to have to hit. Laser cutter at 39, though, lands. Big beat does not get double dog eliminated. I double dog eliminate you. GG, Zazu. Monster did super good today. Okay, so Big Beat moves on to top four. Is that my... I think top four is the best I've done. I think uh, Pete got top four once this season. I mean, Pete also won, like... I'm not talking about, like, the, the preseason tournaments and stuff. Revisionism, SMH, lose to the strongest mochi. <laughs> That's true, it did. Uh, Hood Classic. Okay. So, if you guys remember, let me get the prediction live. Okay, prediction is live for this. Who do you like here? Um, the way this works is you are able to run a banned monster, but they don't get any points if they finish lower than top. I forget if it's top four or top eight. Um, and then I think it's top eight, but then the points they do get is halved after that. So they need to make top eight. It might be top four. I might have been really like aggressive with it. And then they only get half after that. I'm pretty sure it's top eight. But yeah, so they, the Hood Classic is made top 8, and wins this, it's top 4, but the points it'll get will be half. And any monster that beats it gets points as well. So Hood Classic lost once already. I forget who it lost to, that happened a little while ago. Um, 
but that monster will get an extra point and then if any of these other monsters are able to beat it they'll get points too wow huge bet on spike strip here the turn assault miss isn't looking real good for spike strip you don't want to miss the turn assault turn assault's great but like miss, missing it sucks Stab's definitely the play in this matchup, or Pierce. He went for both of them, you know. He's listening to me. Flattening can do a little bit of damage, but he needs something bigger to finish this off. A crit flattening? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's technically something a little bit bigger than a regular flattening. The Hood Classic is put down. It gets fifth place tonight, so congratulations. But uh, Fake Life's monster is moving on. So, we are in our top four. Let's go back to winner's side. I shank a lot in Kokoro. Didn't know about this mode. Just tried my Kabuto Knight versus some of these mons. Oh, yeah. No points. Is it top, uh, is it top four or is it top eight? You would know better than me. I think you get points for... That, that looks like it's probably five wins though, right? <laughs> I type in Elfric. Oh yeah, so you're testing out your mon. How, how are you doing? These mons are all made with a stat cap in mind. Like, by the way, this isn't like... Anybody who's like, wants to like, max out their stats in competitive play, we don't really do max stats tournaments because they're boring. They're kind of hard to build for and um, matches take forever. And it's basically like the purest form of the tier list. Like the strongest monsters are always the strongest in max stats. And the weaker monsters don't really have a chance at all. It's only fourth and up. Okay. Prediction is live. Who do you like? But yeah, I mean, if you get five wins, did you get five wins? One, two... It's possible, yeah. The move set sucks. Oh, okay. One, two, three. No, one, two. Three, four. Four wins. Oh, maybe it's not enough. Okay, what is this looking like? 65% and I shank a lot. Is that one because he has similar stats? Oh, okay. A giant whip misses. Bite? Ooh, shank a lot. Are we going to have just a regular old tiger in grand finals? Love to see that. It's not like it's a bad build. Tiger is good as hell. That's it. Grand Finals, I shank a lot, makes it. Pretty pretty unceremonious win, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. Too old. All right, loser side, Big Beat and Spike Strip. Tiger of the Wind, something like that. Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like here? Is this the end of Big Beat's run? Will Spike Strip move on to fight Kokoro? Only four monsters left in the tournament. <laughs> Tiger of the win. Funny puns. Huge bets back and forth right now. We're about 50-50 on the bets. These matchups can be so interesting sometimes. Like, I can click on the stream and go grab a drink and have an entire match be over. Yeah, sometimes they're really, really quick. It's also because we're playing in two times speed, but that's just more of a I want to get done by midnight. I mean, I, I have one minute to get three matches done, so that's not going to happen, but. All right, we have 65% on Big Beat. Misses the Hammerfall. I'm going to fight a lot of speed mons now. He's angry. Miss the hammer fall again. He still has enough guts to swing a third time. 41%, not nothing. Bunch of flattings in a row will do this for him though. Spike strip gets game one. Game number two, here we go. 
Flattening. Building up some guts. Big Beat's got a shot. 50 guts lead. Laser cutter. Missed at 44%. Goes it at 39. <laughs> uh, oh, well. You did good, my son. I'm okay with how he did. Would have been nice to win the whole thing, but, uh, you know, losing to the monster who's in Grand Finals and you know, this monster now, not too bad. Surely they're not expecting a fourth hammer fall in a row. That's why you don't gamble. I made top four gambling. I did okay today. Spike Strip's a monster. Yeah, he's pretty good. Kokoro and Spike Strip up next. Okay. Predictions live. Who do you like out of these two? This is top three. Winner of this has to fight I Shank a lot. And this is a rematch of top eight already. Kokoro and Spike Strips had to fight each other. Kokoro got a super quick 2 0. And, uh, you know, it might happen again. Or maybe it won't. Who's to say? I don't know. You don't know. But bets, bets are saying Spike Strip's going to do it. Here we go. Spike stabs, a little bit of damage. Oh, good crit. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah. The bite. Good damage. And again, he grits though. 50 guts lead. Kamikaze do big damage here. Oh, even tail swing. Pretty good chunk. Two in a row? I need three though. Single Kamikaze would have killed. The giant whip comes out. Giant whip again. 20 guts left. Still has options. Face attack? Oh. The grit though. The double grit. 10 seconds left. Does he have it in him to swing one more time before his opponent does? He does. We're going to game three. <laughs> Oh boy, Kokoro not going out like that. Game three, here we go. Giant whip opener. Misses at 44% and again at 41. Knock at 99, gonna do a good chunk. Box power on his opponent though. Giant whip with power, he's uber dead. That did enough damage that makes it look... Yeah, he would have killed without it. Okay. So, Kokoro gets the win again. Spike Strip double eliminated by the monster who gets second place minimum. Kokoro could win the whole thing. Being double eliminated by the monster that uh, gets first, a little rough. So, here we go. We're in grand finals. We got I Shank Lot and we have Kokoro. Lost 10k on a sentient wall that fought like a regular wall. <laughs> okay. Prediction is live. You have one minute this time. If you're betting on I Shank a lot, you're betting that he's going to win a 3 out of 5. Because finals is 3 out of 5. If you're betting on Kokoro, you're betting that he's going to win a 3 out of 5, reset the bracket, and then win a second 3 out of 5. So he's got to win twice as much. Make sure when you're betting, you have that in mind. So, I Shank a lot is the favorite here. He only has to win one set. Kokoro has to win two. Because I Shank a lot hasn't lost yet. Kokoro has to first knock Shank into losers if he wants to win the tournament. What do we got? Big bets right now. I Shank a lot's got 70% of the vet. Of the vet. Of the bet. And which makes sense based on, you know, the math and the things I just said. He is the favorite doesn't have to win half as many matches as his opponent. Yeah, it's looking like 70-30 in favor of I Shank a lot. Here we go. Couple of bites. Giant whip. It is a kill if it lands. Kamikaze is as well. Misses, does some damage to himself. Another bite puts him in yellow. And then the stab to finish him off. 
Shank takes game one real quick. Purebred bros, yeah. Then Kokoro ran out of steam after the wall, maybe. Use up all he had. The giant whip misses. Swings it again. Scratch for a little bit. He's got unity. He's got that guts regen and and power. Okay. That's really unnecessary damage, but Kokoro is going to get it. Game number two. Here we go. Kokoro's power has not super paid off for him. Um, he's landed a lot of attacks in power, but it's all been attacks that like he would have won anyway. Oh, the stab lands, but it's not enough to kill. Kokoro's got the guts lead. He can swing first. Will he, though? No, they can both attack now. The Kamikaze at 75 is going to miss. Another stab comes out. I shank a lot. 2 1 on tournament point. No stab opener. Oh, there's the stab opener. Good crit. Rocks power immediately. Tail swing. Tail swing with power. Oh my god, just not enough, but the second one is. Alright, we have set point for Kokoro and tournament point still for I Shank a lot. Kokoro needs to win this to stay alive. Stab gonna do good damage. Giant Whip comes out, miss at 47. That's a lot of 50-50s missing. That's really unfortunate for Kokoro. But super fortunate for Shanks. The face attack lands and it's enough. He wins. He resets bracket and just like that, one set left to determine it all. Here we go. Stab opener. Brings him to half. Kokoro goes for the Kamikaze. It lands. It's enough, but Shankalot grits, so he's still in it. He needs to survive this next attack. Dodges the giant whip. Another stab comes out. He takes it on the grit comeback. Shank up 1-0 in the bracket reset. The stab lands again. Procs power. Big damage on that. Tail swing misses. Power's already out. The scratch was not enough. The second one comes out. Kokoro not gritting at all tonight. Shank up 2-0 on tournament point. Kokoro has to win three in a row now. Two scratches and a bite. Kokoro down to half health. Another bite. Has a huge lead. Face attack at 64%. Lands the second one. Puts Shank in the yellow. He's got power. Power scratch is enough. Shank wins it 3-0 on the bracket reset. Congratulations. Raging Nub. Your boy is a champion. Look at that. 3-2 to go to the reset. And then Shank wins 3-0. So that's our tournament. Hope you guys had fun. Let's take a look at the standings real quick. And then we'll go raid somebody. That was a great tournament. And not just because my guy did pretty well. So Shank with the 6-1. and one. Kokoro. Se oh, I got 7 wins. Hell yeah, baby. Give me that 2. Give me that extra 2 for the 7 wins. Oh my god. JP. JP would never. Oh my god. I think I'm guaranteed 2nd in the, the format now. Unless JP wins heavyweight next week. Hell yeah. But yeah, congratulations, Shanks, for the 6 and 1, Kokoro with the 7 and 2, Spike Strip with the 6 and 2, and Big Beat with the 7 and 2. That's your top four. Then you got Hood Classic, who, you know, finished out of the points, technically, but did get a point for getting five. So a point is a point. Uh, what did Dog doing? I Flames. Latamon's got five. I Flames, Vespinato, both got the five. And then I think, is that it? Yeah, that's it for the five points. Uh, but then Smorbit, Plum, Uwu, FO, and Torneos all get points for finishing ninth, And then Helmet, Granola, Purgatory, and Bruised Bones get points as well. Special shout out to the Mochi going 2-2 two and two to make top 16. That's always hype. So. Really cool night tonight. I uh, saw a bunch of fun matches. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's find somebody to raid. And we fall through on the raid. You can get back a bunch of those channel points you just lost. Uh, and it, you know, it helps us support the Moss Rancher community because we always try to raid someone playing Moss Rancher. Um, if you, <laughs> if you like Moss Rancher and you want to get a, a big raid, just be streaming Moss Rancher at midnight because I'm, I'm always the only fucking person playing this game. <laughs> ah, okay. Do we have friends playing games? Mickey Dadrad is playing. Well, Mickey's the best. We'll, we'll raid Mickey Dadrad, and then, uh, 
yeah, we'll call it. We'll be back tomorrow. We're uh, streaming tomorrow and Wednesday. I might be doing DQM. I might be starting something new on Monster Rancher. So, you know, stay tuned. I'll let you guys know. Exclamation mark Discord if you want to join the Discord and you're not in there already. I think most of you will be. But uh, until tomorrow, hope you have a fantastic night. And I will see you then. The JP division is tied. Am I tied with you? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. It begins or it ends one or the other. Start streaming Monster Rancher exactly 10 minutes before tournament ends. Do it. People do that. People have done that. And they've been, I've been like, who should I raid? And they're like, oh, I'm about to go live. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll raid you. All right. I'm going to bed. See you guys.